Do the thing, Adam. I'm doing the thing. <coughs> so we can start. Okay. Hello, lovely you lot love watchers, and welcome back to the stream. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I did. Hang on. Just, uh, just the stream. I did. Happy or fun. The stream? I did There's precisely no like no happy. I'm <laughs> too excited. <laughs> Being pretty excited. Well, I'm not happy or having fun. Let me start that again. No, I'm sorry. Hello, lovely you lot love watchers, and number two, welcome back to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> It's still not happening. Where are the happy What sort of stream is this? The it? super mega fun time oh. happy Tuesday. Nothing's going to go bad stream. Mm, not at all. The all best kind of stream you could ever want. Mm -hmm. It's reasonable um. enough. Uh, should we do announcements as always? Um, We're still alive. Everyone's still alive. <laughs> Just about. Um, Barely. I had a nap. <laughs> Uh, should we do a dice giveaway today? Let's oh, do yeah. a dice giveaway. I think Matt Matt should pick a pair. Pick a pair of dice. We have Christmas dice. Matt Matt. Oh, should we do a Christmas dice? Christmas dice. So Christmas we are giveaway. gonna give away the Christmas dice today. Yeah. Um, so if you're watching in chat, um, either message me or say something why you deserve these dice. A snowflake and a Or just reindeer. say something. We'll have a look in chat and we'll give away to someone. This is as good as our competitions get. Give us a name. Oh yeah, so we're going to name, name the group. Name the party. It's going to be name the party. Whoever comes up name with the best the name for the party will get a, a set of Christmas dice. Please live in the UK, please live in the UK. <laughs> Don't live in the UK. It's not that expensive. Like, to post it to America, it's like £2.50. You know how your phone is on not loud, Adam? Pardon? Somebody's phone is not on not loud. No, it's not now. That wasn't my phone, was it? It, was it? No, it sounded like it was coming from over there. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> Um, right, should we do a little recap? Mm. So, the party was split. Mm. Well, mm. Well, mm. Always ends well. Mm. Uh, Phys Only physically, we're there. <laughs> physically, we're not. Physically, we're there. Spiritually, <laughs> spiritually and emotionally, no. <laughs> we're somewhere else. Red, Gabriel, and their new. Friend. Dad friend. Carvan. <laughs> Dad friend. We're in some kind of crazy, weird and wacky spirit world, which kind of sat halfway between Barovia and halfway between who knows where. The in-between. Night mother. Indeed. Um, they were told by Carvan that there are certain areas where the boundaries were weaker. Um, and one of those is where there's great rage and another is where there's been a lot of death. Mm. Both places you want to go. Yeah. Right um, death. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got to the spirit world because your bodies transformed into feral werewolves and your spirit ripped from the bodies was sent to the spirit world. And you were talking to someone there who you believe was the Night Mother. She spoke in a female voice and said there would be no dawn, there would be no sunrise, there would just be night. She tried to tempt you and bait you into making choices and siding with her. None of you took it, yet. <laughs> but the night is long and full of dangers. Oh, that's very close to being copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just see if I can get one. Yep, it's okay. I got away with that one. <laughs> um, following Carvan, he pointed you towards um, places where there's been death, and you suggested the hags we know. There was someone who could see between the worlds, see between the planes. Very useful. <laughs> Can you remember who it yes. was? Yes, was it? Arica. The creepy girl. <laughs> Can Arabella. anyone do a good impression of her for me? I want to ride the crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> um, we didn't get the creepy laugh down there. Also, your head, was, your head was not sufficiently at an angle. <laughs> and then in Barovia, still at the Bastani camp, 
in different areas in the camp and just grouped up now in a lovely little dusk elf's house. Only well, you'd left the house, hadn't you? Yes. Back in the centre, um, you'd been talking with... I always forget her name. What was her name? Abigail. Arabella. 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 You'd been talking with Arabella and she'd been talking in riddles to you. Confused slightly of what was going on. Um, after downing the werewolves and subduing them and then pouring wolf bane down them, Constance made a good trade. Um, but then was touched um, by Arabella and had a, a flashback to her past. Probably something she would rather forget. Somebody took something from the Vistani camp and tried to make a breakaway. Can you remember who it was? Esmeralda. Mm. She didn't look too happy that you stopped her and she cursed you. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you remember what the curse was? <laughs> I can't take anything that isn't mine. If that's what you remember, that's fine. Uh, I can't remember the exact wording, but that was... Okay. In the heat of the battle, it kind of washed over you. She was definitely a powerful caster, um, but didn't want to confront the Vistani. Um, and dashed as soon as Jakul with Vistani came running down. <laughs> you managed to pry from her what she had been carrying. And it was a thigh bone, which had a metal cast around the bottom and then a ring with some gems in it around the top. And it was rock hard. Right, nice. <laughs> Good. And rock hard and bulbous. <laughs> um, and we're you'd, back there. You'd borrowed uh, a sack from, can you remember the name of the oh. dusk elf? Casimir. <coughs> Thank you. And he wanted to see you in three days' time. Three days' time. To go on a little oh. adventure. 72 hours. Regardless <laughs> of what happens with the phases yeah. of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we'll take it off. So we'll start with those. In Barovia, mm. you find yourself still holding hands with this small. I guess if she was back to where well, you've come from, yeah, a piggyback. Yeah, I'm giving yeah, on your shoulders. <laughs> yeah, um, riding you like a horse, <laughs> and and giggling while being quite high up. She's great. Yeah, it's <laughs> early evening now. You're probably looking at like nine o'clock, somewhere in the region of that. The fire in the centre of the Vistani camp, the music has started up again. You have noticed um, her bodyguard is keeping an eye on you. What would you like to do? Seems like a good enough time to go to sleep. I agree. <laughs> I think we've, we've walked enough today and we should probably make sure that when these lots wake up, well, we're rested enough to be able to deal with whatever the consequences are of yeah. this. If you wake up. Yes, if we do. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. not going to sleep. For reasons I hope are obvious. Uh, Have you managed to attune to that? Yeah, before? I did that when we... Got it. Excellent. I shall keep watches. Sounds fair enough. By which I mean I'll get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, unless there's um, anything else we need to do, any other signs we need to do anything else, we should probably... Um... <laughs> yes, little Arabella, I, I put her down. I think it's time for your bed as well. <laughs> Her like, <laughs> torn dress, the one she wore when she went into the lake, is like ripped, bloodied, dirty. There's blood on her face from where her father, like after stabbing up the werewolf, like just put his hand on her head without like paying any attention. You can see now her matted hair at slight like, different lengths as she has this kind of wicked grin on her face. I think before 
that we need to do a little bit of cleanup. It's going to be like scrubbing my neck. Perhaps you too. Is her dress? Is it still torn? Like her clothes? Where she has it been mended, or has she just been left in the same tattered clothes? And same tattered clothes. Yeah. yeah. She doesn't seem to be affected by the cold, though. She's mm. not shivering at the moment, but you have seen her affected by the elements before. Right. As in body, but not mm. a face or mind. Uh, I'll clean myself up and then I'll get out um, my two lodestones and I'm going to um, use mending on the clothes. Try yeah, and knit on them hers? Up, on, yeah, on her clothes to like, fix them up. And I'm going to like kind of clean her face up a bit, <laughs> if she lets me. As you touch her face, mm -hmm. um, are you touching the bloodied side? Uh, yeah, I'll have a, a cloth and uh, my gloves on. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Mm, clean. Um, as you um, touch her face, um, your mind jumps back to a time where you were in a situation how she looks right now mm. and someone touched your face as you look down mm. who do you look up who do you see doing what you're doing to her um, a Don't high priest of my order of soon cleaning me up <laughs> telling me my beauty should shine <laughs> 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 Those around would hear um, <coughs> Jakul say in a voice which sounds like his, but there's a slight tone difference to it. And so he says to this very small girl with complete honesty that her beauty will shine. I'm going to pull out the mirror that is in Gabriel's pack that I have on my back and just sort of tilt it towards her and see what I can see of Arabella okay. in the mirror. Mm. Okay. So as you, this small mirror with on, on the back of it, um, silvered um, uh, a lady's face, and as you hold the handle and kind of look at her, she, you see yourself first mm -hmm. as you'd, you'd bring it out. Mm -hmm. um, and you've aged dramatically. Um, you're missing. Uh, one of your teeth has been knocked out completely. Um, you can see a scar down the left-hand side of your face and one of your eyes is just an empty socket. And the longer you kind of keep it on yourself, you can see your body wearing away very, very quickly. But give me a will wisdom save. I'll give you advantage because you're, you're expecting it. You know what this mirror does. Uh, that's a 10 and a 7. It does take you back for a second. You properly sort of step. It's so real. So even knowing that this is doing some kind of magic, your, your brain, you've got to kind of mm. touch your eye. Um, and it properly shakes you up, so at the moment you're frightened. And then as you bring the, the mirror around and you can look at her, um, as you bring it across, you see that none of the Vistani really age at all. And she looks the young child completely, not, doesn't, not a day older, mm. not one. I'll put it away again. Yeah. As you kind of jump back into the moment and you kind of see her earnest, honest looking face as you clean her, the blood off using your magic and mend her dress mm. and bring it back to what would have been its former glory. Mm. It's kind of got the classic Russ checkered <coughs> around the neckline. And for a moment, she looks... Um, like a small eight, nine-year-old girl. <laughs> <laughs> she died in a funny way, didn't she? 
for a little skip away. You hear the, the guard curse and run after her. <laughs> Good night, I guess. <laughs> um, those in this kind of... Are we hearing like, her side of the conversation the entire time? Yeah, so you hear what she says. <laughs> you don't... You, the, the others, you hear like odd murmurs, but it's like... like underwater speak. Yeah. You're not, you're not hearing them. What you can see is um, the outlines and shadows of what's going on. You can see missed forms of certain people. Um, when people touch her, they become more physical where you are in this kind of weird alternative, upside down, shadow, whatever you want to call it, realm. <coughs> As you start walking down out um, to sort of cut across the forest towards the windmill, you would see her be put down onto the floor. Um, and then when Jackal touched her face, they both became really real on where you were. Like the outline on Jackal, you could tell exactly who it was. You can see expression on his face as they kind of froze for just a moment there. And then as soon as she kind of hands off him, you can see that mist of what formed him start to dissipate almost instantly as she kind of hops away. They don't seem to be following you. She is the <laughs> worst shaman. The worst. Pop isn't helping. I don't know how to talk to him. There must be some way to get through. You could try reaching them while she is in contact with them. It will be difficult, but it might be possible. It's worth a try. It is. We can't go back through the windmill <coughs> on our own. We're stronger now, but there are three of them. Mm. Tell the shaman what to do. See if she will listen. Make her listen. Gabriel, you are better at <coughs> making people listen to you. <laughs> Say new words. Mm. Just give me a quick 10 second, 20 second of how Gabriel looks at the moment. Gabriel at the moment, he is his, his like, true form. So he is, when you look at him, you see more the Fastani than the other half. He's quite heavily scarred. He's, um, he's kind of in like tattered traveling clothes. <coughs> but other than that, he's, he, when he does his disguise self, there's kind of, it's always different, different just variations on him. It's not a, you've only he doesn't seen do him, a complete change. You haven't seen him do complete changes unless he's copying someone. So he like, like when he turned into the... Um, the Bergmeister's father and stuff like that. Mm. Then, then, then he does a two change. Yeah. All the other times he's been he's pretty just nice. He's just adapted like, ghost. like yeah. eye colour and That's hair colour and, and, and beard little and things, stuff, yeah. Etc. But no, right now he is, he is his true form, so he's, he's scarred heavily. Uh, he's, his clothes are slightly tattered. Um, and he just has this look of just 
pure annoyance more than anything. <laughs> just annoyed at life. He's, he's, the way he sees it, he's, he's been stuck in things like this before, he feels. <laughs> like he's not quite sure. Good him, love it. So, what are you going for? Um, if you're looking for Arabella, you can, you've probably got like where she's standing, you can see anyone who's within, like the, the scene around her, you kind of builds up out of the mists yeah. um, for maybe like five, ten meters around her. Yeah. She seems to be some kind of bridge between the two. Arabella. You're going to go find her? Yeah, you're going to go yeah. find her. <laughs> yeah. I know no. this will be hard to get through, but you are the only one that can allow us to talk to our friends. Is anyone near Arabella with an earshot? Probably not. Uh, I'd just she say goodbye to her, I guess. Is she, will she run away or walk away? Because if walk she's away, walk away, you'd probably still, still be able to hear her. Yeah. She seems to have stopped and is having a conversation with herself. Lovely. Or her guard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play again? Is it called Let's Ride a Crocodile? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be a game called Crocodile Says, where you repeat what the crocodile says. <laughs> 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 crocodile <laughs> says, let's ride a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I kneel down in front of her like a... Crocodile says, let's ride a crocodile. <laughs> Crocodiles can't be ridden unless they're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile says, once they are back on... back with our friends. I'd kneel down like if I was like talking to like as like it was like a sm like a small child. Yeah. You know how people get down to the level of a small child. Yep. <laughs> Just looking like at it's her and like it's a small child. Like it's a small child. <laughs> it is a small child. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> convincing small child. Is it though? Yeah. <laughs> is yeah. It? You get down to her level. <laughs> Immortal, never-ending. Could thing. you say the word falsely <laughs> accused? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> is that oh, what you're asking? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Could you say it for me? Could you say it for the crocodile? How close are you? I'm pretty much next to him. Are you a crocodile at the moment? No. <laughs> <laughs> this may help if you turn into a crocodile. <laughs> One day. <laughs> I'll eat her. <laughs> she snaps into Before it. we do that, one second, sorry. Mm -hmm. She kind of looks over, and where you're standing is near the guard. Mm -hmm. And as her kind of gaze goes over near him, she. Well, that's not her voice at all. Are you going to turn into a crocodile? <laughs> As she kind of looks over near the guard and he looks at her <laughs> and then you see Labash is within earshot, looks over and he's like... <laughs> gets down <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> 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 but like her eyes don't go with him at all and they're just fixed over near you. <laughs> Red turns. <laughs> big crocodile. Nice. Like big. Turn into a crocodile there. Yeah. Uh, and do medium so, creatures. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. It was, uh, Even before, there. yeah, before it's because it, there was no concentration. Mm. But you can, you can cool. still cast in the, the in between. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Rinches. Proper like beefy crocodile. <laughs> Hedge <laughs> crocodile. <laughs> yeah. You take a moment, centre yourself, and <laughs> how well trained you are. <laughs> 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 Let her ride on you. So I can eat her? No. no so you can go and find your friends and they can watch her riding nothing. 
<laughs> what did you want Stomps that to say? forward. Falsely accused. Falsely <laughs> accused. I guess my attention. <laughs> 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 Uh, I, I was walking away, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, as you're kind of walking the other direction, you hear her say it out quite loud. Question, out. can we physically touch her in there? Or, can, or um, rather, it, can she physically yeah, touch us? She can cool, indeed. yeah. I'm going to go towards her. Crocodile's going to stomp forward. Now, you can ride the crocodile if you keep repeating my words. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just, you've got stand. these four guards yeah, like on the cold floor. <laughs> He's just saying my words. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just just opens and closes her mouth. <laughs> Bashnik has said he will send the group dice. If they get, if the whole group gets named to Anavas minions, no, <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> I think it's she a burned her joke. last one. <laughs> is that is that a joke that we're, that we're not popular enough to know? Yeah. 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 I'm not cool enough for that joke. Man, I got it. I'm yeah, the one crowd. <laughs> um, as she goes to touch you and and puts a hand on you and like reaches. You can feel her pushing through the boundaries, um, getting closer to you. And as she sort of touches, um, you have a flashback. No. Mm -hmm. Not had any of those yet. Yeah. Um, you're not in your wild clothes. You're not in your... Um, clothes that you've made yourself or scavenged. You're wearing something else. What are you wearing? Um, little, like, very, like, simply made, like, a jumper, like, shorts, like, things that you, like, little babies would wear, and a pair of shoes, little leather shoes. You can hear the crackle of a fire from nearby but then you hear something else that startles you what sound is it um just a, something cracking in the undergrowth and it's enough to twist your head and then another sound getting closer or further yep, away closer and closer and closer. When it gets closer, she's huddles down. She's got a, a, bl a knitted blanket in her hand, a bright red knitted blanket, and pulls that over her head and hides. Is there anything else with you? Yep. You're by Very yourself. Very far away from anything else. One more step through what comes into the clearing. Um, it was a, a panther, something that had caught her smell. It's low to the ground, shoulders high, head down near the floor. As it steps forwards, has it seen you? Mm hmm It smelt her hours ago. You can see its head come up slightly. Well, you can't see its head come up. As you peek out. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? Gets closer and closer. And it goes into the pouncing position. And it's sort of winding itself up to pounce. And as it jumps, you something else. As it leaps through the air towards you. The blur comes from the side of your vision as you pull down this little blanket. Do you let out a squeak or are you silent? A little cry. As you take a second and snap back to where you are, it was so real you were there. 
the memories flushing back to you, some of them long forgotten as they come back to you. <laughs> and as her hand kind of gets drawn back, you can see um, uh, those chuckle. You would see um, Abigail she tries to like push onto something, and she like steps off the ground for a second, and then falls down, and you can see she's disorientated. For a moment, though, for the best part of five seconds, she was floating. Mm. Like, floating on nothing? On absolutely nothing. You could see nothing. Terrible shaman. <laughs> uh, I will get a bit closer, but I won't, like, interact with her, because I don't want yeah. to deal with her. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll kind of be interested and be watching. Constance, Hesia, anything you want to be doing? You can see something's got Jekyll's attention. Just uh, watching, yeah. Yeah. calling back from a distance, like not getting involved, but just mm -hmm. keeping an eye on what's going on. I yeah. don't want her anywhere near me. No, no. I'm, I'm, I've, I've had my fun time with yeah. her now. Mm -hmm. Recovering from yeah. <laughs> the stress. Um, the Bash, big, burly, six foot three bear of a man, barrel chested. Big smile that reaches all the way to his eyes wearing this kind of leather waistcoat, still with blood on him, <laughs> his dagger which he gave to you to end your friend's lives just 20 minutes ago. He's <laughs> tucked away in his back. <laughs> he brings out a, a bottle of wine. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll happily take some. Yeah. And swig it. Bust it as he always said. Yeah. We're all gonna die. It is good to drink, yeah? Mm. Mm-hmm. Come, you dance. Uh, I don't, but Hesia does. <laughs> yeah, I'll dance. <laughs> <laughs> I just, as this thunderous clap comes out and the couple of violinists see it and they start to play the kind of pasodoble <laughs> style. <laughs> as, uh, yeah, he, have you got any kind of performance? Um, no, it's, I mean, it would be a very chaotic form of <laughs> dancing. I think it would be very similar to how she, like, cast her spells yeah, in a way. Give me a day 20. A lot of spinning. spinning. Give me a day 20 and we'll see, we'll see how good you are. Just want to use my advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to use my advantage on this. Oh, 16. Ooh. Three is wild magic. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I've got a, um, Tides of Chaos is activated. Yeah. You want me to do a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that the right one? No, that one. I don't have the chart. Uh, 31. Okay. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> uh. Please put one rat tail in for a pot plant. That's Something all that I want. That's removes all, I want all curses in the area instantly. <laughs> that would be amazing. Make everybody into okay. a crocodile. Yeah. We'll jump back to it. I've not got the chart Multiple in front of me. Do you want me to? I can look it up. Yeah. Or do you want me to? Um, no. As Hesia spins and whirls and dances around him, they're both on very separate beasts. <laughs> <laughs> um, as they, they move and dance, but it's definitely got some of the attention. Um, you can see the magic swaying through Hesia's moves and her hand movements. She's not casting spells, but there's definitely some arcaneness to her. Uh, message it to me if you can. can um, Gabriel. You've got her attention. I've done this one before. That's a shame. It's boring. What one was it? Uh, the one where I go off to the astral plane for a turn. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect! That's perfect! Wait, that's that's perfect. perfect. Hang, on. Hang on. For one turn. Oh, I didn't, I didn't think. I was too busy thinking. Oh, so no, she's just going to pop up like, oh, hey! <laughs> you are transported to the astral plane <laughs> and will be in the next Gabriel. turn, oh, after which no. you'd return to the space and you previously oh, occupied. Is it just six right. seconds in the astral plane? <laughs> it's going to be very quick. Roll hacks. Right. It's going to be a vine length amount of time. <laughs> so, this shit on up. As you, you spin and whirl and dance around him, and as he dances in this, he, he moves lightly on his feet, and for a big man, he moves well. Um, again, his, his, his dancing is this kind of power, 
game stroke moves around you. Um, and with a, a spin and a flourish and a just a zip, <laughs> you see Hasio just vanish for a second. You, you end up where you've been before. Yeah. When you saw... All the colours. Yeah. yeah that's and fine. you saw Tatiana. Yeah. Um, with you. You're now as if you're underwater and the, the, you can still kind of just hear the music. Um, and as you look round, you can see a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> very big crocodile. You can see, give me a very brief description. Uh, six foot five, very well muscled, scars, tattoos, not much clothing. <laughs> <laughs> it is a trip. <laughs> and a dude who kind of looks like Gabriel. Have you, have you met Gabriel in his normal form yet? <laughs> yeah. No, I have, because yeah, yeah. I came to see you yeah. and you were, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, like, I, I'm guessing things you don't rehearse. <laughs> And you would see for the best part of six seconds. So you've got six seconds if you think you would react and do anything. I think but You are mid-dance move. Yeah, she would... You would, as soon as you, you would probably stumble. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. And, okay, you ready? See you spinning around and see you. So whatever you say is what you say, go. Oh, oh, that 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 is. Is. What? Let's do it. Let's do it. And she disappears. There's a And the rest of you would see her still reappear, stumble, and you find yourself falling towards uh, Lavash, who very quickly just catches you with one hand. Like it's a dance move. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and puts you back onto your feet. Like it was all planned. <laughs> and they keep dancing. <laughs> she just sort of stood there with like this long focus <laughs> blink. <laughs> Stand it out as you still there. It's like she's just stood there now in the middle of the dance hall just like blinking <laughs> slowly. What just happened? <laughs> That was a very I'm good dance. Down. Well done. <laughs> was the disappearing intentional? Always. Is that how tieflings dance? Yep. <laughs> Those in the yep. astralish plane or the upside down, do you want to do anything? Tiefling sort of how they I'm do it. Not much. I'm still a crocodile. Yeah. <laughs> Talk. Go to the windmill. Repeat my words. Go to the windmill. <laughs> she kind of steadies herself. You would see like the old eyes in the back of her head almost kind of roll back and over for a second as she sort of stumbles back and writes herself. And then in a voice that almost doesn't sound her own, mm. she says, Go to the windmill. And then you see her eyes kind of come back down again. <laughs> was she looking at me before or was she just kind of doing her thing? Mid she never properly makes eye contact with you unless something weird's about to happen. So I'm just standing near her and she yeah. just says, go to the windmill and then goes back to her weird. Thing. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, weird child. <laughs> More? <laughs> I'm trying to think what to say. She doesn't say that many words. I just think she's just going weird. Um, being stuff. around her, she looks really tired now. Mm -hmm. Properly tired. Hmm. I would... Um, excuse myself from the dancing, blaming the wine going from my head, mm -hmm. um, and try and have a, a word with Constance out of... Mm -hmm. I'm hoping the Vash will just carry on dancing. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to enjoy it. Oh, is she still <laughs> focusing on me, or is she... She, still... she looks a bit over the place, to be honest. Hesia has seen us. And then when we're back to the normal realm, you can ride the crocodile. <coughs> it's hard to see if she's understood that one. Okay. Mm. 
Gabriel, um, Gabriel's in, an, in, in another plane with a crocodile and a man with not many clothes on. <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> I think it was the same place I went that time before, do you remember? When we were fighting the wolves, I think it was, on the road hmm. to Tresk. Can I do like a arcana check or something like that? Yeah. Because I, I don't know how much I know about... An arcana? Yeah. Yeah, give me like a... The astral plane or Yeah, do you want to do the same? Yeah. <laughs> Very um, little. 23. <laughs> Hmm. Almost like the, the absolute minimum amount that could be <laughs> is how much I know. you could possibly know. Yeah. <laughs> Your mind jumps back to planes, <laughs> and all you can remember is looking out the window <laughs> and your studies and seeing... <laughs> Making furniture. Yeah, <laughs> seeing some knights come in and being like... Oh. <laughs> 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 and then pain around your face. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need this one day, Constant! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, from what you've heard of Barovia, normally there are multiple different planes of existence, um, and it is possible to travel between them. There are inner and outer ones, there are primal ones, there's planes in between planes, um, there is like a shadow plane, um, which your knowledge of the Gabriel Raven Queen, yeah, yeah, is Raven Queen is rumoured to be linked to that in some way. Um, but in Barovia, um, everything seems a bit odd and off. And from what you've heard, Strahd is able to lock everyone into this somehow. If it would be possible to plane hop out of Barovia, you could escape and then you could plane hop back and then rescue people and plane hop out again. But that doesn't seem an option either. Um, so something is definitely off with the planes. Thanks. Now that you've kind of used this wild magic and jumped between the two twice now, you're pretty sure that you did jump to a different plane, but it was like a version of the shadow plane. Okay. Gabriel said he was in the spirit realm. It felt like it might yeah. be the shadow plane. It wasn't quite. Hmm. It felt wrong, but <laughs> they're, 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 they are. Well, Gabriel is 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 in another plane. Right. I wasn't there very long. He was with a crocodile. I could probably hazard a. I've seen. We've seen red beer. You have. Before, you, have. you were in the water. I was in the water with you. In the <laughs> <laughs> I helped. <laughs> was the crocodile red? I, I wasn't there very long, uh, and I was put out by the fact that there was a crocodile there. But it could be. I mean, it could <coughs> be. Like it would make kind of sense. I don't know why she chose to be a crocodile. That's weird. But you know. There should, they could be together, Gabriel's there. I don't know who the random man was, that's a separate issue. Maybe he's another werewolf who's asleep at the moment? <laughs> or under the influence of this wolf okay. stuff? Whoa. He was very tall. I don't know that was irrelevant to everything, <laughs> but I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> he's not wearing many clothes, and that could be because he ripped off all his clothes to turn into a werewolf. As you're he saying this. It was Gabriel. Um, yeah. Yeah, Gabriel yeah. did not look like he had ripped clothes. <laughs> Arabella, still quite close to you, will say, and is very rude and Excuse grumpy. Me? Who is? But I like him. <laughs> <laughs> As she kind of looks up to you. Is that the tall man? The tall man's grumpy and rude. And we can hear her talking to them. Ish. You can. We can have yeah. and her replying to them. Yeah. Is this the tall man with not many clothes on? I like to talk with him. Can you see a crocodile? But he doesn't like to talk to me. That's because you're ineffectual. I make him see things he wants to forget. Waste of time. <laughs> she kind of holds a hand up towards you. Arabella, 
Can you see a crocodile? Were you riding a crocodile? It made me tired. Cool. Is that why you were floating for a moment? Mm. Mm. Arabella, tell them to go to the windmill. No. Please. Red's mm. gonna shift back and is going to shout at her <laughs> with every single fibre of her being. <laughs> Tell them to go to the windmill. <laughs> Literally, all that rage that she's just tapped into, she's just going to scream it out. Give me a uh, intimidation. Oh, God. <laughs> My intimidation's not good. I'll nice. give you advantage on it. Oh, I get a nice one on it anyway. That was a... That's a 15. And that's a 10. Yeah, i give it to you, yeah. Yeah. Um, she kind of... Steps back for a second. She looks bone weary now. She looks proper tired. Proper, proper tired. Mm. The no longer a crocodile, crocodile. Tez go to the windmill. Huh. Oh. I'm going to scoop her up when she's mm. looking that tired. Yeah. And um, start. Like look meaningfully at you two when she says that, but start taking her over to the bash. Yeah. If he's nearby still. Yeah, yeah. They um, kind of drink wine, be merry, kind yeah, of having yeah, fun. Yeah. Um, because I, uh, yeah, I want to ask him. Yes. Do you want to stay the night? Uh, we've not decided yet, but. Um, so would recommend it. Yeah, it's getting dark. It's one. It's very dark. Getting late. Um, I've just got a question about the potions that we traded for. Mm -hmm. What happens to them when they drink them? Rather than... What happens to their... self? What happens to their... Are they dreaming? Oh, the wolfbane. Mm -hmm. There's... like a poison to them. That is all. Hmm. Over the years, sometimes the Stani get the curse. We can chain them away and give them wolf pain. Hmm. And when they wake up, do they remember anything from it? Not normally. <coughs> cool. Mm. Um, could I try to perceive something of the bullshit? Yeah. Yeah, Jacko, what are you doing? I'm gonna be standing there observing. Him. Yeah, you want to see if he's? Yeah. What was that? What would that be? Insight. Yeah. Uh, twenty-five. Twelve. <laughs> you. He's you you people's souls. You've got the cut of this man, you think, but he is a complicated mm. chap. Um, <laughs> as you, you kind of try and read him. Um, you don't believe that there's falsehood there. Mm. From what he said, um, you probably would have heard of this. Mm. Um, depends on what priest travel, you, where you travel. Um, but you can get normally more wealthy people if they contract it mm. the, the curse they can lock themselves away poison their own bodies so they're, if they do turn into a werewolf they're much weaker mm. and then try and ride out the full moon and then mm. <laughs> okay. thank you um, uh, we just need to decide what we're going to do yes but um is Come here, little one. Yeah, I'll sorry. She kind of looks up to him. Oh, I rode a crocodile. Yes, of course you did. <laughs> 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 and kind of gives her hair a ruffle. And as he looks over at the guard, a very good crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he kind of nods. <laughs> and he beckons and some wine is brought over to him. Uh, if we do stay, is there a particular place that we should make camp? With the 
central fire. All right. Okay. Seems like we should stay the night. There's not no point in traveling in the dark. In this they place. Oh, wouldn't are we edging away from yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, walking away. You can see the sort of contact you've got between this kind of realm and where you are is getting weaker and weaker. Everything is blurring and fading quite rapidly. Whatever was kind of like piercing the two and bringing them closer together is going to sleep. She said some things that I believe Gabriel would have said out of turn. Such as? So I think, well, falsely accused. And she did say go to the windmill before as well. That's twice she said that. That's twice she said that. It does seem something worth... Uh, investigating, however, it is late. This is not a time to travel. Perhaps Help. in the morning, if they are not awakened in the morning, we will we should follow her advice. Is there anything you know about people who stay in this spirit realm for too long? Uh, will it be an arcana? Uh-uh. You can get lost in planes for sure. Okay. They're, sometimes they can be linked to each other. You might know a little bit if it's similar to the shadow plane. Okay that they kind of mirror each other a bit, but you can go off the path and then find where it doesn't come back together. How long were you there for? Because I... Seconds. Seconds. Five. That's the seconds it, that you were gone for, uh, so... Yeah. Just was, to check that it's not something that feels like 10,000 years. Uh, it's, it's, I think it, it, they <laughs> are mirrors of, of our world. They're the same, but different. But you can get lost in them, I guess. There is, a, there is a chance that they may not. Can you? They may need help coming back. That might be why they are asking us to go to the windmill. I don't know, but that might be. The, the hags were trapped there. Yeah, when we were fighting the hags, the hags blinked away into another plane. Did they not? They use plane. I think they use planes to get. That's what we said before. Yeah. They Perhaps that is the connection. <coughs> that they are trying to get back. It from. sounds like the hags have done something to them. That's possible. If you're not if, that's, if the moon's full and they, that's no, how they get around. You can't hear around. this. I've whacked my forehead. <laughs> you can what? hear murmuring, murmuring. It's getting less and less and less. I point my finger at the outline of Jekyll. 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 Message. Oh. You point a finger towards the, a creature within range and whisper a message. That target and only target hears a message and reply in a whisper that only you can hear. To cast a spell through uh, solid objects if you're familiar with the, with the target and know it is beyond the barrier. Magical silence, one foot of stone, one inch of common metal, and a thin sheet of lead or three foot of wood blocks the spell. How much wood is it? Okay. It doesn't have to follow a straight line. I just have to see him. You can happily travel around corners and through openings. So if I actually point it through him, it will go through her to him. Because she's still awake and she's the thing that's locking us to him. Yeah. It feels tenuous. It feels like if you're both holding your hand. Give me a D20, give me a D20. God. It feels like this is going to be a really bad connection. Jack, what about now? Can you hear me now? No, this is Patrick. <laughs> That's a 13. You want me to plus Arcana? Because then that'd be 14. What is the message you send? I send. We are in the. Damn spirit realm, we need to go to a place of now. death now. Head to the windmill. In damn, now, please, death. <laughs> death, 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 <laughs> what is it worth? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Piece of shit. I don't think he'll want that. I can't give you anything while I'm stuck in this realm, can I? Quickly, what is it worth? My blood. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm Vistani, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> How to bark at my game. And he's one with the high charisma. <laughs> uh, that's it. Sleep, child. <laughs> <laughs> you have had a long day. It's going poorly. What Any do you luck? want? What is it worth? A really creepy doll. He <laughs> <laughs> really doesn't want that back. No, that, that's your <laughs> <all> problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it worth? That's all he said. I don't know what we have of worth. I've got a death house hairbrush. I have a <laughs> gold and jewel encrusted hip flask worth 250 gold pieces. <laughs> I did red. I have a lovely thigh bone which we happen to steal from you. <laughs> <laughs> um. <coughs> I've got some perfume that we nicked from that. Um, uh, the Burgermeister. <laughs> Who doesn't want your tat? <laughs> I've got a jar of gripping Perhaps. briefs. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. a favour. And, and at no point have you ever specified if it's, for, if it's from a gripping or if it's for <laughs> Guess a favour. I've got a lot of gems, okay. Is it greasy enough? <laughs> what is written without some grease? <laughs> Anything I ask. Oh, oh no. I don't oh, trust him, I Gabriel. I made this mistake before. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What is your message? <coughs> we are stuck in the spirit realm. We need to go to a place of great death. Tonight. Tonight. So the windmill. <laughs> oh. Very well. You here? Sleep well, little one. And then we make our way to the windmill and hopefully he doesn't. I don't trust him. Nor do I. But hopefully if he understands I'm Pistani, there's a choice that he has a chance to help me. Um, Lavash, a couple of minutes pass after he pay, tucks the little one in bed, <coughs> makes his way over. And he'd go to you, you, Constance. I had a message from your friends. When? Just now. Their spirits. Gabriel said he is in the spirit realm. Told you so. Mm -hmm. Spirit worm. Realm. <laughs> spirit <laughs> worm. He's in the spirit worm. <laughs> they need to go somewhere with great death, and they want to go tonight. Is he talking just to her? Or? Uh, I guess you guys are all kind of we'll together. We'll gather Um. <coughs> Thank you. Definitely tonight. <laughs> that is what the fool said. Oh. Right. Thank you. Thank um, you. Cheers. I assume he's making payment himself for this favour. <clears throat> um, I believe he spoke for all of you. Gabriel! <laughs> 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 um, if we were to travel to the windmill tonight, is there a road that's safer than others? Is there anything in particular we should watch out for? I would suggest 
to right. take the path. Yeah. But you will struggle to close the distance. You may need to cut across the forest. Oh, God. How much do we like these two? <laughs> <laughs> Without a guide, I do not fancy your chances. Is there anyone here who would guide us? <laughs> I do not think you could afford it. But if you make me an offer, maybe you would surprise me. I look at Hestia. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I have, I think, a bunch of five things worth gold. Yeah, gems and things. But I've got three I don't think he's gonna take money. We spent most of our money. Yeah, he's not. He's not I don't think he's mm. gonna take <laughs> money. <or. coughs> I've got a hairbrush worth twenty-five gold. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's worth trying. I've got three uh, Puzzle beans, uh, green gem, green agate gems. The money is mostly gone. I've got Piddlewick. <laughs> <laughs> I still maintain we offer him the doll back. Gold unicorn ring. Oh, I have. Where's that? Unicorn oh, rug. It's the rug. Oh. Um, it was the unicorn rug, which was oh, worth rug. seven to eight hundred gold. Mm. Which is probably burning in the town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's in the town. I can't don't think we can assume we can you give it back. Owen. Owen has a rug. Mm. Yeah, but the town. Oh yeah, Owen. Irwin's here. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, I completely forgot Irwin. We all did. He's sleeping. He's sleeping, yeah, he went to sleep. He was yeah. remember absolutely exhausted from the ride. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he went to bed. <laughs> He's doing nothing. <laughs> he came here on the go. <laughs> came here on the go. <laughs> uh, well, I don't I'm, think... I'm wearing a gold ring, which is... I imagine you're, like, looking through your bag yeah, at this yeah. moment. <coughs> I, I, I have the bag, and I'm away. Yeah. <laughs> he seems to be losing interest quite rapidly. Yeah. I don't think we have mm, anything that would... No. A particularly, particular value. monetary value. <sighs> How long would it take us to go along the road from here to the windmill? We've, we've been this way before, along the road. How long would it, had it taken us before? Uh, it took the be part of a day yeah, and we from here to the, to the windmill. It's a very windy road. Yeah. There, it's a long it's road, remember? The We're going to have to go through, so it's... And then, and then to do it at night yeah, would right. be even yeah. harder. Yeah. You guys set a brisk pace, if you remember as yes, well. Yes, I do. You didn't mess around. Yeah, we're yeah. Kind of, So it would be so, I mean, in distance terms. But we, it's not visible from where we are. <laughs> or it, 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 or during during the day, see. was it visible from where we are? Like, how far away? The windmill, because the windmill would be on top of a hill, right? It is. No, you can't see it across the woodlands, no. 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 Even during the no. day? We no, the mist is too thick. Okay. Um... Mm. As you're looking at your map and discussing and talking about payments, he walks away from you. Mm. Uh, as he's walking away, thank you for the message. What about the dust girl? Dust girl, okay. Yeah. Um, he does. No. Um, We've already thank made. you. Mm. <laughs> Does he just walk past at that exact moment? <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Mm. Uh, what about that tall guy over there with the big hat? Fuck you. He's not keep coming up with people who have to be walking by <laughs> that exact second. Um, uh, how's, um... We could attempt talking to the dust girl. We... Hadrian, with directions. Um, I can't summon him until there's vengeance. <laughs> I mean, this is quite He's vengeance. not happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The vengeance, the vengeance will have to be within about three seconds right, okay. <laughs> before I can summon him again, or he won't be happy. Um, oh, there has to be immediate vengeance. Immediate delighted guest. That is our um, group name now, by the way. Immediate vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good name. Where's the group name? Immediate, Immediate vengeance. vengeance. <laughs> Immediate vengeance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, thank that you. Works both ways, right? <laughs> Dish pickle gave us a, a subscribe, so we get oh, a moat. Oh, I don't nice. know if that's put us over the a moat thing that we needed to get to. Fifteen. I think I also need to resubscribe. I think, like, yeah, it's been a month at least. I think since I lasted it. Oh, amazing. 
Thank you, Dishpickle. Anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> as you're kind of looking at it, we'll go to the guys in the... What do you do? It is now dark void where you once were before you could see the outlines of people in the mist you'd be aware of this is what happens and that, that you can feel the two planes shifting we've apart we've done all we can regardless of what your friends choose to do you are running out of time what happens if we stay too long I don't know we need to head to the windmill before what the it? night is over you should cross back what if the hags intercept us? Can't they...? Then we will fight them. The thing is, they'll be coming for Hesse anyway, so we'll most likely meet one on the way. <laughs> I just so come to that realisation the second can, he said, That yeah. would be useful. We could fight, yeah, we could stay like around here and wait, or we go <laughs> to the windmill, and if we come across past with one, we fight, fight it. it. Kill it. You get then <laughs> find the other two. Kill them. To kind of explain what it feels like now, it feels like you're on a a raft with no paddle. Mm. It it doesn't feel like just standing still, you're not standing in one location, if that comes across at all, if you're with me. Yep. (coughs) Floating. You get that distinct impression. So is it a question of will and determination to go to a place, or is it... Yeah, yeah cool. you, right. you'd push through to it. Question from the previous times that they've attacked Hesia. Have they been physically there? So what you saw... Or have they, like, have they, they people, did or have something... They been nearby? Uh, thinking back to it, they did something very, very similar, but reversed to what Arabella is doing. So mm-hmm. when, you, when you looked at them in the mirror, you could see them in the spirit realm touching her from the spirit realm in her dream. Yeah, they they, add, they made well. physical contact with her. Yeah. They physically touched her from that realm. I'm going to we'll use my <laughs> Eldritch Sight and just put Detect Magic on. Bait, yes. aren't you? Put her seat asleep. It would be a way of checking <laughs> if our theory is right before we necessarily make the track. <laughs> <laughs> just a small nap, maybe. Yeah. Um, and we don't risk much. We don't risk... Uh, much <laughs> and we have the necklace to put on you if we need to which will I assume immediately wake you up <laughs> this is how I die <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of a question at the moment of, we, we've got three options we wait here you really like Gabriel and Red that much <laughs> to be honest this is, this is a question this is a question I'll put to you Hesia <laughs> So we can either, as far as I can see, it, we can wait here <laughs> until they either wake up or are dead. Yep. We could go to the windmill. We could go to the windmill. We'll probably die. And then we will fight them with just the three of us, and then I hope that the other three, the other side of uh, also fighting some sort from of the spirit realm, spiritual barrier, and we'll be able to fight them whenever they change what realm that what well, that sounds like a great fighting. plan that involves all five yeah. you're yeah. saying this out loud yeah yeah, yeah but not yeah. right next to the bash he's, no. like, he's yeah. walked away it's just yeah. three yeah. of us so, so yeah. far you've given me two different plans Ooh. which involve all five of us taking an equal part yeah mm-hmm. or <laughs> you are going to sleep, sleep. <laughs> and the hags kill me hags. and you and then we'll kill some hags and then maybe the others will help kill the hags and then maybe we'll know more about their ability to do things <laughs> from the other side while we're on this side. <coughs> they have, of course, already said that they are going to the windmill. So <laughs> just we could like go to point that closer bit out. to the windmill, but not inside the windmill. I think being in the woods on our own and having the house come to us is not good. If we make her go to sleep in the middle of a Vistani camp where they are protected from many things might not be the worst place to be. But would they come here at all? That's true, they might not. Do we need to be outside this, of their this boundaries? This place might be within, protected, yeah. You know, within running distance to get mm. closer if we need to. <coughs> uh, if... Another thing, do we need to bring the bodies with us, the werewolf bodies? I don't know. I'm... Um, yeah, okay, let's go to the women. I'll just carry two werewolves in the market. I guess I'll throw the wi- werewolves before we do anything else and then... Yes, we have very, very little to go off of here, other than a message from... Yeah. As much as I would love to die for this cause... <laughs> um, have you considered having a nap for the team? 
<laughs> it's very it's very rare that anyone has ever offered the chance of just napping for the greater good. <laughs> the greater good. <laughs> the greater good. <laughs> this is the best plan ever. <laughs> I'm glad you all think this is a great plan. The Spirit Realm gang, what are you doing? We're heading towards the windmill, like we said, we're going to do. Making your way across. Who's leading? Well, I've got detect magic on, so I'm. Yeah. I'll go front. Yeah, Red will follow next to him, pretty much. <coughs> Seems entertaining. <laughs> Seems entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Have you travelled this realm before? Or do you just stand I, and wait? I exist here. Mm. Now. I would like to pull out the mirror and see if I can see any of them still here in the mirror. No. Yeah. Can I make a prayer to soon and bring out my mirror and yep. um, have a mirror. look around and see if I can see... I the mirror off. I'd like to know... <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if she would allow me <laughs> to, to see my, our friends in, in, in the other world. Give me a d20. Mm. Okay. Come on, see. Would that be like Do religion something or something? For a yeah. Mirrors to the left me. Mirrors to the right. 13 and Here I am. Stuck in the middle. An existential well, crisis. Seems, seems you feel distant from your God as you say your prayers. Yeah. It's a strain mm. to find beauty in this land and to focus on it. Yeah, you, your mind ugly. just can't. There's only like two beautiful things here. I'm not going to be... <laughs> Me like, and Strahd. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. As your mind wanders back to Strahd. Ah, <laughs> that lovely little neck nibble. <laughs> <laughs> Just a nibble. The evil um, hickey. Um, seeing uh, Jakul pray, I would be like, well, I guess I, I should probably pray too. <laughs> Wait, who's going to pray? What are you pray? praying for? Um, guidance to yeah. achieve justice in this situation. <laughs> No. <laughs> close. So What'd close. So close. Uh, eight. But it's just... That, that would have been it. That would have been great. You hear the voice of, hey dear, in your mind. <laughs> As you're walking across, you can see... Shit, are you a goat? <laughs> you can see the odd landmark here and there. You can see what we will say north of you. A wall in the mist, circular, um, going round uh, where it definitely seems thinner in places. Mm -hmm. um, but it's hard to tell where without going into the wall. Um, using that as a kind of landmark. We can orientate ourselves. Yeah, you can... You can um, point yourself in roughly the right direction. Yeah. Are you going to go... You sort of think you're on the road. Are you going to keep on the road or are you going to try and cut across the forest? Cut straight across. This, yeah. is, a, this is a realm like this. Yeah. These sh nothing should nothing get in our physical way. can get in our way. But then are our friends going to go through the forest? Okay. That's if they've left. We still yeah. can't guarantee if they will come with us. And... Time is a factor here. Mm. What, what even happens when we break back through? Are we ourselves? Do we go back to our bodies? You, you will always be yourself. But will we go back to the bodies we left? Or will they become two separate things? I don't know. We'll find out when it happens. And if, and we if are, they're not there? If we are still werewolf, when we go back into our bodies, then we'll have to find a cure. You hear a voice from coming from behind you, formed out of the mist. It's a girl's voice. Deep and husky, but ultimately feminine. Yes. It is not too late to go back. As you turn round, you see a form that you've seen before this warrior woman, hair half in braids. I think Kavash mentioned this was his daughter, but not much else of it. She looks to you. There's an intensity in her eyes now. It is not too late yet. You must believe me. 
She looks round, anxious, worried. No, I must not. She seeks you with all the years. You must understand, Father, you are in the worst danger you have ever been in. But her grasp on me is weakened now. I'm sorry for what I did, but I had to do it. It was the only chance. Father, look at me. They are not lost. Our people are not lost in the mists. I knew we were to die. I knew it was going to be the end. I took their spirits there to hide them from what was coming. They are not lost. You can still save them, Father. As something tears her back into the wrist, mist backwards out as her arms and legs kind of fly forwards, her hair with it, and you hear the whimper of a cry in the distance, followed by a laugh that sounds like it's came from the sound mouth. The same mouth, sorry. Does this realm normally play tricks? Who am I going, who are we going to see next? Let us press on. You hear a voice, just you, Carbon, from beside you. Tell them it does not play tricks. And then another one. No, tell them it plays tricks. We have our course. Tell them to go to the mist, Carvin. We have our Tell goal. Tell them to go to the wall. No. Tell them to go to Valaki. It is safe in Valaki. No. Tell them to go to the castle of stone and iron and death. Lead on. Fine. Do not lose your temper, Carvin. You know what happened last time you and did. And stride swiftly. Think of your wife, Carver. I know which way to go. Roughly. I look at Eric and I just form as a raven and then just fly. Keep up. Yep. Yeah. I've right, tried. <laughs> Is it like a black and white version of the regular world? Where they are. Yeah. Uh, and yes. Mixed with like it's all certain really bits swirly. they can see are much clearer. Like in a video game where it hasn't loaded properly in the distance. Yeah, it's, a lot of stuff is made out of mist, and as they move closer to it, it becomes realer it and then down again. <laughs> and then there's certain areas where it becomes much realer, or certain people. Mm. So, yeah, it's a video game. Render different. Yeah. Render different. Distance. Yeah. yeah. If they're not there when we get to the windmill. What are you doing, we Ken? Run. <sighs> Don't let them run, Carvan. Our choices are limited. If they, the if the message is right, they are heading to the windmill. Bringing the hags here is not going to help. Mm. How are we for? Um, How are we going to get that light? Oh, are we well, well rested enough to be able to do this without? Dying. Are, are we well rested enough for this to be in standard chance? That is true. While you've been here, you could have taken a short rest if you like. Mm. We are resting while chatting. Yeah, yeah. taking a short rest. Yeah, yeah you sure can I'm have been. Off my health for sure. Case. I'm happy for you to be doing that. Where are the pencils? Where are the pencils? Um, we need. Mm. Yeah, there's, there's very little guarantees if we're following along. If we head there, we may not meet up with them. We don't even know how this whole thing works or what we're trying to achieve. Perhaps if you want drawing the... the hags here is the safer option. At least drawing them away from our friends. Before they did come as an individual, it was just the leader who came to us or came after Hesia. It was not the whole yeah. group. If we We're can split them up, them. that might be the most beneficial thing we can do. I still think they want us there, but yeah. if that's the best option we've got, it's I'll just travelling through the woods in a route that we do not know in haste. Mm -hmm. It did not seem like a best plan. What if, if we get lost? in the woods, 
then we're going to help no one. I agree. If we get attacked by werewolves or other creatures. Right, fine, 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 fine. I'll do it. Uh, perhaps you hear a voice you didn't hear him approach Mm -hmm. then let me help you Mm -hmm. you see about five foot five five foot six cloak up hood up a lot of the Vistani looking towards him as Casimir stands near you you must honour the deal you have made with me if I survive, I will. Is this the 72 hour thing? Yes, this is the 72 hour thing. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in this heavy wax cloak, going hour. almost down to his toes. Mm. The browns and green with moss actually growing on it in places. He stands quite motionless, wrapped tightly around him, shadowed just his face coming out. Mm. Can you guide us? I can. I take it you are apprised of our situation. I have heard. And you would be twice in your debt. You are no good to me dead. Mm. Uh, I'm no no good to me dead. And our colleagues alive and well would also be very useful. A secondary addition, yeah. Mm. You must all promise me that you will come with me. Have I already sworn? Can you explain this to (laughs) you? (laughs) (laughs) It's fine, it's fine. (laughs) Just trust us. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen a more trustworthy well, face? Adding something to our to-do list, so I understand. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can leave what you do not need to carry with you in my house. We will be travelling fast. Just chuck the two werewolves there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. stay behind. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, okay, that sounds reasonable enough. Thank you. I'd I'd leave behind my my main pack or camping yep. kit, yeah. the adamantite armor, and yeah. extra stuff, and but I keep the little bag with the leg in it. <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. bag with leg. You never know when you might need a hard firm bone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hard for a lumpy bone. bone. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm it? just having a look at what is in Gabriel's pack oh, my, before the I decide. Oh, should be there as well. The stuff, all right. Are you in armor now? I'm in my normal armour, but I, I haven't got the adamant armour refitted. Yeah. So. Um, With great reluctance, I leave behind the hairbrush. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he looks at you in the armour. You the must struggle to keep up in that. I in my, 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 my scale mail armour. <laughs> cool. Bad luck. Um, um, I take the magic mirror from Gabriel's pack, but put the rest of it away. She's in plate. Yep. That's okay. He, you just heard him say to Jekyll that he will struggle to keep up in the armour. I'm in like scale now. I mean, it's just all my pyjamas, so... <laughs> I will guide you, but I will not fight for you or die for you. That seems fair. If you draw creatures upon us, mark my words, you will face them alone. Fine. I... I... I don't wear Need armor. the protection. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to a tough fight. We need every edge we can get. I mean, like, if I take it off and put it in my pack and carry it, that's not really going to help, is it? No. No. So, so you'd probably it. take some of it off, like the legs. Yeah. The leg part you could yeah, probably yeah. would be better to carry, and then we'll say it drops your AC by three until you put it back on. Don't you have, like... I have scale mail. Heavy armour of proficiency, so you don't take the minuses. Or is that a feat? That's a feat, isn't it? Yeah, it's a feat. There is a feat for it, yeah. Hey, well, heavy armour. Right? You can wear it without, yeah. It's just more for the athletics tricks. Isn't it? If I can leave behind my hairbrush, you can do this. Yeah, but the hairbrush you've never used, I'm sure. We um, used it on red no. once, it was important. It's more, it's do you really want heavy. me to be able to actually fight things, or do you want me to just get knocked over as soon as I get there and... <laughs> 1819. It's up to you. <laughs> Ready yourselves, we yeah, will need I'll, to travel I'll take quickly. Off the legs and take off the greaves and. Uh, and I'll, I'll do the same. How much penalty would that be on my armour? Mm, probably minus three again. Minus three, so it'd be like one, uh, one plus one armour. Mm, well, plus two, minus two, minus two, minus two. Yeah. I don't wear armour. <clears throat> I'm keeping the magic cloak. 
Yeah, no, you're not too bad. So, carrying wise, people aren't carrying. Okay. Not carrying your bed and stuff? No, no. leaving that. Uh, just carrying, well, the chest part of my armor, um, my axe, and the bag with the bone in it. I'm keeping a crossbow on my back, but that's it. Leave I everything else behind. We'll pass you a couple of the silver arrows that are in. <coughs> <coughs> Pass them all. In. There's 20 silver bolts. Oh, sorry, whisper on the wind so I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pass you like three. Because... Yeah. 20 silver arrows, that is a lot silver of bolts. That's a silver chunk. Silver bolts, bolts are only like this big. Yeah. But silver. But it's silver. The tip is silver, not the whole thing. No, the whole. The whole... No, it'd the whole the tip. Just the tip. No, that'd be more expensive. Maybe the tip. Yeah. A wood shaft with a yeah, silver wood. tip. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, solid silver. <laughs> silver. Yeah. I can melt it down and make a sword of that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Buy yourself a castle. Um, so I'll have the greaves and probably the vampires bundled up yep. um, with um, a couple of torches, tinderbox. And... Do not question anything I do. Just do as I say and follow me. You understand? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Then let us run. Uh, without a goodbye, without a look over his shoulder, he sets off at a brutal pace. Like, a stunning pace. Like, not a jog, full sprint from the word he nods his head down the hill, just running. Oh. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we're going for a run. Jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be making some noise. Yeah. Your legs, you're instantly glad you took them off. <laughs> um, so it's mainly your chest that you've got on. Yours, as you jump in, with it being the scale, the scales are... It's nice, nice. And the plate, <laughs> the bits that are hanging down... Oh, it's male. Male, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so you've got the same jingle, yeah. jingle. Um, are you, how close do you want to keep up to him and what order are you running in? I'll go first. Yeah. Are, have you got any lights? Okay. It's a full moon, so that you're okay? Yeah, same. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> three out of the four <laughs> people will, have no vision. Uh, ca- the fourth I, just falls <laughs> over a lot. I will stay behind everyone and I'll cast light on um, the hilt of my axe that's on my side. Oh, no, so sorry. I'm got, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. pretty smart, isn't it? <laughs> it's like yeah. that light pulled like the, the other game. Yeah, <laughs> it's helping. <laughs> And a little bit of light is bleeding over to you guys. But I'm, I'm standing behind them because they, they have dark vision, so I won't blind them. Do you not? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <don't have> <laughs> no, they don't. Dragon Ball no. don't have I don't any, any, don't do have no they just, dark they just or breathe light. fire at things yeah. and then whatever yeah. they've set on fire casts like enough light for them to yeah. see by. Yeah. Sure. The story yeah. behind Dragon Ball is a bit weak yeah. in 5e. Yeah. It's not. It's kind of like mm. they yeah, come like from a different plane where there's millions of dragons and then they kind of did like a massive plane shift over and then set up their own little town and then slowly spread out and that's oh, I'll tell him that. yeah mm. they don't yeah they don't Ooh. trust any dragons yeah yeah you know, as a general rule of thumb um yeah i'm in the middle i suppose yeah the pace is brutal it is instant holy crap shit balls <laughs> <laughs> the technical term yeah um team spirit Team upside down. Team upside victory. Down. Team spirit one. <laughs> Team. We are spirit Intimidate one. vengeance. We're, we're down to we're down to, we're down for the dub. <laughs> we're, we're immediate vengeance. So you're flying. Them. I'm He's flying. flying. I'm running as fast as I can. And I've got I'm keeping up. I've got you're a leisurely jog. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Eldritch sight on. <coughs> so I can detect things that are magical. <laughs> you know what? Actually, no, no, uh, no. Red's gonna sling up onto Carvan. <laughs> my lip is going to sling up on her. As herself, or as yeah, like, no, she's in a, a, a small creature? No, no. You're just, just going to climb. She's literally, like she's teeny tiny. <laughs> he, will, he will pick her off, set her down. <laughs> <laughs> you have your own strength. I can't And then he'll accelerate fast. past her. Crocodile. <laughs> 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 literally can't run any faster. Turn to a bird. 
Wolf. Can't, not, can't then, run, um, can't do flying yet. Um, you can more wolf. legs. Wolf. <laughs> more more legs. legs. I can't then turn into a, I can't then shapeshift again for the rest of the day. Uh, oh, you're I can't shapeshift at all, and I'm <laughs> doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually shapeshift this bit. <laughs> Fine, guess we're um, shifting again. As you're having this conversation, um, you hear <laughs> um, a voice from near you. Well, it's, it's either that or I'm going to fall behind a lot because my <laughs> movement speed is 25. Oh, wow, well, yeah. yeah. Ask for power and I shall grant it. No. <laughs> Just say my name. She'll shift, start carrying on running on all four legs. What's your name? Wolf. Mm. You no, see, she can't say her name. You see um, the mist around you turns into wolves as well and runs alongside you. That's boring. Ask and I'll return them. Ooh. She keeps head down running. Say the word and I'll return him. <laughs> keeps running. So it's audible to... You or don't. to you. No, you, probably not to you. You don't have him. <laughs> yeah. I know, he already told you, he told me that the first time we met. I was like, yeah, boy. Yep. Uh, and Carmen will just kind of yeah. fall into pace next to you. Yeah. Nice. I'll occasionally do that thing that, <laughs> that closed uh, Raven's doing, just kind of like flick in and then Sweet, flick back yeah. out. <laughs> sort of like, I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm um, with you. What a great team. Right, give me got. a. How are you trying to navigate? Now you're onto the forest, it's really awkward. Really a awkward. Lot of memory. Yep. So, like, sort of muscle memory. Obviously, I'm guessing there's literally no sense of smell in here. <laughs> in here, as if we're in a room. No. Um, yeah, it's just going completely on very. Still running, but is constantly looking and trying to find those landmarks. Yeah. I'm up high, so I'm going to use as much of the height possibly, and using my detect magic to just okay. like, I just can come across anything. Mm, I can both give me a d20, we'll see how well you're doing. Yeah. With perception. Yeah, do you survival? Mm, survival, yeah. That is nine. Did you Victor? Uh, 15, unless with perception it would be 19. Okay. Oh, Vargas. It's awkward to tell distances from in here, for sure. There are movements. <clears throat> are you looking around, or are you focusing on where you need to go? Focus on where I need to go. OK. But the reason why I put a detect magic wall and if anything comes magical within um, 30 feet of me, I know that they're there, basically. OK. Yeah, you, you're making okay-ish time. It's an awkward, surreal, yeah. dream-like experience. As I'll you're, go as fast as they want to. Yeah, you get like that quicksand feeling at times, and, the bit, and parts of the journey travel very quickly and parts travel very slowly. Can you just, everyone give me a straight dexterity Track roll. Track team, go. Dex, <laughs> but it would be easy on a go. Uh, 12. Six. Uh, six. Six was that? I yeah. won. Two lots of six. <laughs> Sixes. Sixes. Four. Dex. Just straight down. You looked last one, though. Oh, no, I was going off the straight oh, rolls right. rather than saving throws. It's like the. Yeah. Uh, uh, those who failed, can you give me a constitution save? Did we all fail? Or? <laughs> what did you get? Uh, 13. You're okay. Mm -hmm. Plus one. 13. 16. 17. Okay. <laughs> No, running, but we're okay. Yeah, so the save is The pace is brutal. It isn't a, I'm going to pace this out and we're going to jog it. Yeah. It is just ridiculously fast. Um, I think kind of jumping trees, zigzagging, running through things. A lot of the time, he's kind of gliding over surfaces very, very quickly. You can see, as his cape moves back, he is incredibly frail looking. There is not a lot of him. There's not much... You've probably seen elves before. Um, 
and they've got more muscle mass than he has for sure, for sure. Um, but he moves well and quickly. Um, as you're running and you just take your eyes off for a second as you hear a noise to the side, as your feet get tangled in the thick forest beneath you, as you hit the floor and go sliding along it, mud and age-old grime splashing into your face. It doesn't look like anyone's traveled through these woodlands for generations and generations. The old trees and branches move in slightly in the tiniest breeze, making the creaking noises. The moon high and full in the sky, but the mist blocking out a good percentage of the light, turning it into this kind of big alien kind of big mist lit up rather than a full moon. As you start to rub the um, mud off your face and uh, you'd catch up being at the back, you see it's not mud. As you smell it, it's got an irony blood to it. You can taste it in your mouth, in your nose, as it fills you. As you stop and look round for a second and there's just corpses, corpses upon corpses upon corpses. Old as time, some just leaning against trees. None of them seem to be moving yet. A <laughs> <laughs> whisper over the air, run! As I catch up to her, I'll kind of like grab and kind of help pull her up. Yeah, mm. Hesia, you would hear the sort of splash uh, of... Pause and look back. Yeah. yeah. As you see the light arrive, you can see this... Not a mass graveyard, but just bodies leaning against trees. And Come the, on, hurry up. Is it is yeah. wet blood then on her face? Okay. Yeah. Mm. She's got a red sheen to her, for sure. Up, Get up. Get up. Come on. Mm. Yeah. Get up and, 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 and scrabble up. What's going through Constant's mind? Um, utter shock, really. Yeah. Um, but also just determination to carry on. Like, yeah. It's not what she expected to find. In, uh, As you think? start to push yourself up, you feel something grab your wrist. Yeah, in a panic, just kick, punch, bat away. Just, Constance pushes you away as you're trying to help her up. As you you look down to her in the mud and kind of flails for a second. A scream or not? Just like a grunt. A grunt. Do I see her flailing on her own or against something? Trees, the branches. Okay, I'll I'll just kind of grip her as Something else grabs you from behind. Launch her up. Just... Wriggle and yeah. try and <laughs> my shoulder. I, I, I'm just basically trying to thrust her forward, like onto her. Feet. Yeah, give me a strength roll. We'll okay. see how well you do it. Can I do a strength? Yeah, you're trying to you're trying to help yourself. Oh, up. 23. Ooh, Sorry, 22. Oh, 21. No. Oh, <laughs> like, oh boy. You're, you're physically whatever's grabbed you from behind is strong, <laughs> and but it's not pushed you down in or hurt you. It's picked you up and put you on your feet. Yeah. That would, that would be the thing to like you know, shake, shake off the kind of yeah. panic as you, and... As you shake your head and look back behind you, you now look at the mud on your face, which is not blood, it's just thick mud, and you look back to the trees that you thought were corpses, just trees. So you let out a sigh, turn round, or I guess you would sigh. Yeah. An involuntary. Fine. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> to play your character for you. <laughs> and then you give all your money to Hesse. <laughs> it's already happened. <laughs> and then you summon the goat. <laughs> As you turn back and start moving again. Yes, yeah, yeah. Just, just Full pace. In, in the direction that yeah. I think we're going, yeah. yeah. As you turn back, can you give me a perception? Um, 16 plus zero, 16. All right, sure. Something's moving towards Jekyll. I grab him and pull him and carry on running. Yeah. You get grabbed. Keep it's going. a muddy, 
half orc paw print <laughs> just grabs onto you <laughs> and pulls you forward. That makes me run more. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> So easy to traumatize. <laughs> As you start to close the distance yeah. down, um, can you give me one more Constitution save? Constitution throw? or death? Constitution, please. Is it? Um, it's a Constitution save, so it's your actual save save. Uh, Thirteen. Seventeen. Ten. And a ten. You're not too bad. You're, the wind is properly knocked out of you by the halfway point. You would assume. Um, breathing hard. And Casimir stops for two seconds. He's breathing hard as well, don't get me wrong, but you guys are looking considerably worse than he is. Catch your breath. We have done well so far. How much time has passed? You're probably been moving swiftly for about two hours. Blimey. Mm. I you am. job team. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinting. You've definitely been... The pace has changed and gone up and down. He's not been stupid and just lost you. But you guys are... Yeah, it's hurting. It is... Yeah. I'll take a swig of water like, and splash some on my shoulder. You're going to be exhausted by the end of this. It's just how exhausted. Yeah, mm. uh, yeah. I see you trying to clean yourself up and touch you and do prestigiation, so <laughs> which like cleans the... up to a f- cubic foot Aww. of material. Oh, grab yeah. the water that yeah. he's wasting and take a big swim. <laughs> yeah. 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 As you do, Casimir grabs you. You can see his head as he moves it. He grabs your attention, Constance. As he slowly goes into his pouch and throws what looks just like a rock. As it sails through the air and he starts sprinting the opposite direction to where he's thrown it. Can everyone give me a... no, you wouldn't be close enough to hear it or see it. <coughs> Very large, and from the behind you, bright flash goes off, and it sounds like thunder has exploded from the opposite direction. You hear the sound <coughs> of guttural, deep, angry roars coming from the other direction, and the smashing of trees and branches. It was very close to where you were. And now he is full pace sprinting again. Can everyone give me a deck? Please. The straight decks? Yep. Team, track, team, track, team. Sixteen. Mm. Nine. Nine. Why am I doing so well tonight? <laughs> this is wild. Her series, she, she went dancing and I was just like, yeah, what exercise? <laughs> I'm like on my feet. You're all legs and arms in this heavy armour, your shoulders aching, your legs burning, you barely rested for 30 seconds and already now he's set a faster pace than he did before. Everything aches and everything hurts. Your legs are hitting together, you're bashing into trees and trying to get round them. You're making a lot of noise. Do you slow down or do you push on as hard as he is? Are you still going flat out? Yeah, yeah. Keep it up with him. Try and keep up with him. Hesia, you're pretty, pretty light on your feet. Don't question it, just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> if we question it, things will start going wrong. Right, one last constitution saving throw, please, and then I'll let you know how exhausted you are. 21. 9. 13. Anyone want to use any re-rolls? No. No, I do not. <laughs> um, actually, yes, I do have a re-roll. You do? Yeah, so... Yeah, you have your... You know what, nine is all right. Nine is not the worst. I can survive on one. You're around the middle, right? So one uh, exhaustion gives you uh, disadvantage to all saving rolls. Okay. So, Hesia. And you're against spell users. You're familiar with being tired. We've already have at least one. Been there, done that. Oh, okay, I'm glad I did that. 19 plus 23. That was my, yeah. And what did you get? Uh, it, uh, was Constitution, 13, sorry. Yeah. 13, yeah. 13 for okay. Constitution. Um, you're, Hesia, you're level 1 exhausted. Okay. Jakul and Constance, you're level 2 exhausted. Oof. Ooh. As you 
literally, I run in, and one second you are in dense forest, and the next you are skidding to a halt on the road. It is like that quick. The, the forest just evaporates behind you. And you, even uh, Casimir, comes to like an abrupt stop. Exhaustion. What level does level two do? So um, level one is disadvantage on ability checks, so, so you've all that. got that. Is that saving throws as well, or just ability checks? Ability, ability checks. checks. Just an yeah. ability checks. Uh, and level two is your speed is half. Oh. Okay. So you two are super slow. Okay. You're mm. 15. And then... So okay, yeah. yeah. Glad we didn't make it to level three. <laughs> ability checks are... Uh, these aren't yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to, level three was um, where I got to when we were in the depths of all the like, tag <laughs> stuff. What well, did you get to? Three. Three was the oh, worst yeah. I got, yeah. You would have been three, Constance. Horrible. Team of a worldie. Team upside down. Team upside down. <laughs> Team spirit one. Team Spirit Worm. <laughs> Team Spirit Worm. As you approach and get closer... Team Media nice. Vengeance, Team Spirit Worm. It becomes very apparent you go in the right direction. If you were next to it, you feel you could touch it. You feel you could just reach out and you can see the blades turning. You can see it on the hill. You can see the area around it real. It is tangible. It is solid. It is there in your realm. <coughs> <coughs> and you are probably about a kilometre away. Cool. It's sort of, it, imagine it kind of standing out on the hill of this kind of just swamp of fog and mist, which you are currently in. And then it, the land, the mist sort of comes up and becomes solid and solid and solid and then to, when you get to the top it is like a like you're in the real world it is the the barriers between the two are that thin mm. and How anchored here solid does this windmill look completely 100 percent. no i mean like it looks almost exactly the same as the windmill when you saw it in barovia almost right, identical is, there a is it is it i'm saying is it a decrepit windmill oh yeah completely destroyed cool. still perfect are your friends to be depended on? I haven't really got much of a choice at the moment. I oh, know, I can't speak of a wolf. Mm. I, assumed, I assumed that was telepathy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Ow! If your call is to go anything by, then yes. Food? Mm. <laughs> Can I get a sense for how much of the night is the one that I wouldn't say is the one that is. Um, <laughs> you're help, you're you reckon <laughs> maybe four or five hours? It's probably about one in the morning, two in the morning, something like that. It's the best time to be in the horrible have, We have a little time if you wish to wait for them to catch up. Red is going to start not too close to the... Windmill, but it's going to start looking and f getting a feel if there's anything that you know, like how Arabella sort of pushed against. Yes. As soon as you remember, it's on that little hill. As soon as you get to the base of it, if that's mm -hmm. how close you want to get. Yeah, that's yeah. when you start to feel the. That's when the you, give. you can you can feel Red the will give. sit next to that part. Still as a raven, I will sit next to Red. <laughs> While I just popped on the floor, <laughs> like legs out. I can help you here. How many times must they say no? I have all the time in the world. You're alone. Your friends abandoned you. Lost. I... Agatha will drink your soul. I form back to myself with Eric on my shoulder. Uh, give me a d20. Mm -hmm. That is a nine. As you try and do it, you can't. Oh. <laughs> oh, where is your power now, Gabriel? 
Red stands up and snarls. Ask and I shall give it to you. I've got my power here. And You've I look towards... Nothing. I look up to, um... <laughs> look up to the wolf. <laughs> Together we could be great. Think of your daughter. I am. That's why I'm saying no. So, if you want to keep talking to me, you'll be talking to a deaf ear. and tell them there is no escape. Tell them this is a fool's errand. Tell them how long you've been here, how many people you've spoken to, how many others have tried to work with you and they failed. I do All no one's bidding save life. my own. I will speak no words for you. Do we hear that? The conversation. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. It just means you can have three people saying no to you. Do you not want to see your daughter? Your people. I will see my people when the devil is destroyed. Your wife will be free when I have Coven. my vengeance. Save me. And again, whoosh, pulled back into the mist. She's with me still, Garvin. All these years. Red will communicate. It's a matter with of Carvan time. And say she'll use words this time. I'm using words now, not pictures. Um, mm. Remember back on the mountain, you asked me to help her. I will still do that. I am not alone. I'll find where you've hidden him. The wolf will be mine. If you could, you <coughs> would have. I have time, do not worry. And then Red, he'll do anything for As the mist kind of forms into a hand. Any bit. She'll snap at the hand. As it just kind of dissipates in front of you. Feel the hairs on the back of your neck are just there on end. You want to control it and stand against her, against this whatever she is living here and wherever you are. The two of you have no idea how long Carvin's been here, at all. From what you saw of the visions of the past, it was a long, long time ago. How long do we wait? Until I can turn back into my normal form. Try again. I'll try and leave. Eric. Uh, give me a, a d20. That would be a 17. What are you focusing on? I'm focusing on um, having the Raven Queen's sentinel being Eric on my shoulder and me standing with all my, with all her blessing, basically. Do you offer her any, are you asking for something from her or are you offering anything to her? What, what is, is this a request for power or are you oh, saying? No. This is a, I'm offering you these hags and then this night mother. Because <laughs> I'm guessing this is what you sent me here for. <laughs> yeah, she, um, you turn back into a raven? Real world team. No. 
Team. Your vengeance. Your vengeance. Uh, <laughs> from your <laughs> map <Trust> making, <laughs> you take a second, consult your maps yeah. that you've kept while you've been travelling, uh, and you reckon you're probably mm. 20 minutes on the road, maybe 10 minutes to the windmill. As you, there's a couple of blind corners, and then you'll see the path going up to the windmill. So we, we reach the road then, basically. Yeah, you're to the north still. Oh. Come in like up here. As you catch your breath, drink some water. Let's take a moment, a short rest. To... Casimir looks tired, very, very tired. Are you all right, Casimir? <laughs> It has been a while since I have done that. You Thank are on your own now. Understood. Thank you. Thank you for your guidance. Remember our deal and our bargain. 69 hours. <laughs> 69 hours. He, he locks eyes with you. I trust you. If we all die, give me come a, to our bargain. Give me an insight onto him. Mm. You've met him a little bit. Uh, uh, you 22. Will, um, would an exhaustion make you a... Oh yeah, sorry, a disadvantage on it. Yeah. Um, nah, not on insight. Oh, so yeah. 22 anyway. He's cool, yeah. Even with uh, a reroll. Mm -hmm. That's bullshit. He, <laughs> he doesn't trust you. Okay, good, good to know. <laughs> as, as you look, you see his eyes flicker for a second. That this is not the look of someone who trusts you. This is someone saying, I trust you. <laughs> Hesia, you believe I in me. I believe in you. <laughs> he, he definitely trusts you. Who wouldn't? Do what you must. And then get back to me. And we'll travel slower this time to the Amber Temple. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Are you There's something I need to do there, which I've needed to do for a long time. Best not to ask what at this stage. I suggest not travelling back tonight. Yes. No, indeed. Well, if we can wipe May out... May whatever them. gods you believe in look after you. Where are you going tonight? Where are you going tonight? Are you returning or camping here? He stops and looks around. Somewhere safe. <laughs> he is ancient. He is the land. It is better if I do not say. Hmm. Good to know. Pulls up his cloak and steps back into the forest. Ooh. I've been. No, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, I have been. He's ancient. So we're somewhere on this little curve, I guess. Yeah, yeah, if we've come up to the north, yeah, we will be like around here. Uh, let's take a short rest to recover and then head off. Gonna rest out here now? Short uh, rests aren't gonna do anything uh, uh, for exhaustion, is it? No. So. I, I was meaning that. like a moment to kind yeah. of catch a breath and then... <laughs> you, you take a couple of minutes. Re-equip re ourselves. <coughs> a short, yeah. short rest. Put your armour back on? Yes. Uh, yeah, is, so the armour, we, we could carry it and it would be, it's always all right. If you've got... So if you've ever moved in leg armour, mm. like to keep on the breastplate's not too bad, but yeah, to do but like a distance run in leg armour... Yeah. Yeah. Can't really run that much. No. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So That's why I don't wear leg armour okay. as Vito, because it's just irritating. <laughs> but you just, oh. you just wear a like, really long chain, it's a lot Dish, easier. Dish Pickle's come up with the best name for the group. It depends mm. on how tall you are. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah well, Spirits of Vengeance. Like, like. Spirits of Vengeance! I like that one. Spirits of Vengeance. Um, good one. Yeah. Solve. <laughs> Love it. That is a good name. Right. As you, um, goes around the windmill. What do you do? I am pushing quite, through. I am casting um, <coughs> dead magic on myself because I can do it for free because of uh, I've got over at sight. Um, that gives me uh, anything, anything that's magical within 30 feet I can see. Yep. And I'm going to start making my way slowly up the to the windmill until I'm 60 foot away from it. Okay. Oh no, it's one foot away from it, so I can see inside. Red will follow. You trying to move stealthily? Stealthily, yeah. Yep. Give me a stealth, please. Oh, I get plus because I'm a wolf. <laughs> First time I've rolled the dice. No, no. no. re rolling, that was a one. 18. Mm. Was it worth it? Was it worth uh, 19, 21, 22. 23. Stealth is dex. I get plus four because I'm a wolf. 14. Yeah, you're all pretty sneaky as you kind of. 
start making your way up the hill. Which side are you coming from? I'm coming from behind it, so I'm not coming towards mm-hmm. the door. Yeah, there is a window that side. Just kind of staring out of, like, basically trying to find a blind spot as I go up. Mm, there's bits which are more awkward, yeah. Yeah. As you start making your way up there. Um, do I see any auras of any visible creatures in there? Um, how, how close do you get? Uh, 30 foot. So that would be 30 foot from the wall, so you'd be able to see the wall. Okay. Well, I get... <laughs> well, so, so if it's... If it's, the, if, oh, the, yeah. if it's a magic wall, then... <laughs> yeah. No, you can't affect any magic yet. You'd have to get closer. Are you 10, 20 or 30 feet from the wall, you can see a wall. <laughs> <laughs> to be a bit pedantic. <laughs> yeah, so your, your magic vision goes 30 foot. You got to within thirty foot. <laughs> yeah. okay. oh. Can I look through the window, like from this distance? Can I see in through the window? Oh, no, it's quite high. Because it? it's a hill, okay. so you'd be looking up. Up towards it. So you'd be probably see the ceiling. Is it a magic ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> Is there I'll a hang on the ceiling? Don't feel magic. I'll move a bit closer. <laughs> Yeah, how well, I'm preparing a um, shatter, basically. <laughs> um, okay. So as soon as I detect any form of magic in there, I'm going to shatter. <laughs> Shut the magic. Shut the magic. Yeah. Shut the magic ceiling. So yeah, so I'm going to slowly go a bit more forward until I until my eyesight sees an outline of a magic thing. Okay. I'm just going to be like... Give me another stealth. What are the others doing? Uh, Garrett's sticking quite quite relatively close. Okay. Slightly behind in case he needs to... Everyone give me... Another roll. So it's a bit rolly. That is 19. Got another stealth? I've got 21. That's another one. (laughs) (laughs) Lucky, lucky. Uh, Eight. (laughs) That's good enough. Um, Thank God for the yeah, impartial. you get to the windmill. Yeah. yeah. Get to the window. It's probably about. It's a little bit higher up. Um, you could climb in if you wanted. No, to. I just want to look in. As you kind of poke your head up and in, so you're on the ground floor of the windmill. Bear with me. How wide is this windmill? Uh, there would be 125. Is it I'm fireball about, I'm about to, No, I'm about, I'm about to Fred Dibley this thing. <laughs> uh, base floor is... Uh, 20... Um, 20 foot radius. Okay, perfect. Exactly the same radius as a fireball. Um, <laughs> just saying. You can see... I'm guessing it goes up in a cone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... This cage in the corner. Has it got anybody in it? <laughs> you'd, you'd have to, sorry, you'd have to climb up a little bit to see the window, but we can do that. So you're not looking on the base floor, you're looking kind of on the first floor. Okay. Is where the window is, it's a little bit higher up. Okay. You can see in the middle of the room the grinding just slowly turning, and you can hear the sound. The gentle crunch of something in there. Uh, do I see any magical um, auras? Not here. The ceiling's Visible not magical. Creatures. There's some stairs going up and some stairs going down. The stairs are also not magical. <laughs> no part um, of the architecture is magical. I'm going to shatter the floor. So <laughs> basically what I'm going to do is I want to shatter like... Heart, like, because it's a the ground floor. No, no, it's the, <laughs> oh, the, the top the first floor. Because I can see the, the top floor, <laughs> to the ceiling. Each, um, so it is a ten foot radius sphere. From my understanding, shatter. Three <laughs> crucial end there. Ten foot radius sphere. So I'm basically going to put it on the top right. So my idea is just basically drop this. <laughs> <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> <laughs> because. Because I'm level eight. No, you're not. It, seven, seven. Seven. I'm still <laughs> level seven. I, it's a fourth. It, it will be cast as a fourth level spell, so it does five d8 thunder damage. 
Ooh. And it to the um, on the non magical yeah, yeah. floor. <laughs> a creature, may, uh, any non magical object that is isn't being worn or carried, is also takes the damage to this spell area. Mm. So I'm basically going to see if I can blow the side out of this windmill to make it drop. Nice. Fred did the star. So. You're doing this on the, the guy that used to go up the big chimneys with a top hat and glasses, and he used to basically burn down these giant chimney stacks no. by taking out the side. Yeah, he used to live with no uh, Fred Dibble, I think was his name. He was hard. He was he was he was a mad like Northerner. He was awesome. He used to love steam trains. And oh, that walls. guy. Yeah, he was crazy. Yeah. I love him. He used him. to climb up like these tall like um, power power station block um, from like that just brick. Chimneys, and you used to bring them down by burning out the bottom. <laughs> Make them top them. <laughs> what is the. How do you cast the spell? Uh, it is a. It is a. VSM. So I literally. You pull need out, to say something? So I. Vocal. Vocal. <laughs> so in Abyssal, I would say. Bring it down, <laughs> and I throw this uh, oh, yeah, the tip that. of Mika <laughs> at the wall where I'm basically going to hit it. Nice. Give me some damage. And Casio just blares in the um, If there's any creatures within that sphere, they also take the damage. And it is 5d8. If they're construction. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Um, no, they take it anyway. A creature uh, um, that's made out of metal has disadvantage on saves. God. So anything that's made of stone, uh, crystal, and metal has what, survived. What type of save do they need to make? Uh, is a constitution save. Building don't get saves. So it's a <laughs> Five. Eight. Can you imagine that? It's, it's, it's a huge doppelganger. Twelve. <laughs> Building gets a save. It's what? just a mimic. <laughs> uh, it might be. You're in the spirit. It's one giant gelatinous blob and falls no. out. Nineteen. <laughs> Ow. Uh, I'm really stunned. Twenty-one damage. <laughs> To the to building. The building. <laughs> All right, anything that's within the ten foot sphere. Are you so you can aim it at this the top corner high. or bottom right corner? I'm gonna name it at the bottom to see if I can topple this whole fucking this windmill over. It might be home, will they? And what's the DC? Like for the uh, oh, DC they give it a holiday. Is a <laughs> constitution <laughs> save against a okay. uh, spell save of fifteen. I like my new green dice. They're on their holiday, aren't they? It's a full moon and it's night time. They're blatantly following me around wherever <laughs> I am. And they're like, what is that here? A loud ringing noise painfully intense erupts at, the voice, uh, the, at your point of choice. So all of a sudden this sound of ravens. What's the range of that? It's, uh, oh, it's only, it's only a 10 foot sphere. Oh, cool, that's... What is the total damage, please? Uh, it was 21 points of damage on a rickety old building. I'm trying to drop it. Okay, so... Um, you just hear this sudden noise of ravens just going absolutely chaotic. Good call. You know where you miss, it, like, where you throw, like, where you walk in the woods and you just disturb, like, a flock of birds. <laughs> just going mad. And do you know what? I will also use. The amount she is to make that sound even louder <laughs> by three times the amount. So, <laughs> that's it. I'm here. <laughs> what are you two doing while Gabriel's like climbing up the window? I, I was, I was waiting. Off. I was waiting for him to come back and tell us what he saw. <laughs> I'm backing off <laughs> and getting sort of like ready, <laughs> ready for things to go down. I'm dropping a building. <laughs> Meet Gabriel. <laughs> Um, no, right now he's spirit <laughs> In a spirit realm. I still want to so know what happens when we get back. You I hear don't know you actually can loud. And then ravens, and then come in from the side of the building as it echoes out from here. Huh. No, fuck it, I'll do it again next. <laughs> <laughs> the wall kind of buckles out. And the mist then seems to reform back into its previous position. You are not in the real world. <laughs> That's a try. <laughs> Can you see, feel them? All tele- this little telepathy? I can't see them. They might not be in this plane. I'm hoping that will bring their attention. Prepare yourself. 
Um, hopefully, because this is... Are our well. actions, that we, we're still not back, are our actions we do here, do they have any effect in the real plane? Well, the way that Arabella got through to us, <laughs> we should go to get through to them. Plant it's just a plant they for those like, <laughs> I don't think the people in the real world hear it. We're pretty... There's no evidence of this house having a... <laughs> well, Gabriel, I think we need to get through first. Okay. Well... Hopefully that's brought their attention to us. Who comes to the old bone grinder? Is that the spirit world or spirit world? <laughs> spirit or vengeance? <laughs> Name yourselves. Your death. Uh, 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 Red cops uh, ahead. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, you guys would pretty much be out in the open here now. Fine with me. <laughs> Adam? Door. Real world team, what are you doing? Door. <laughs> Door? Uh, We're walking towards attention. the window. Like Rest, <laughs> resting up, re, re equipping ourselves, and then. And, and heading for the window. Starting to head towards yeah. the window. Yeah. You can it, see it in the distance. If I remember rightly, there's like. A path leading up to the path. Yeah. leading up to it that's like quite clear, and then yep. trees all around that. Yep, there yeah. we are indeed. So, so as you come round and down, you head round a blind corner, and there in the distance, in the night, with the moon behind it, large in the misty sky. You can see this windmill with four sails, all of them heavily damaged, slowly turning. Mm. How far is the tree cover, for, tree cover from the window itself? Um, I think it was about 200 foot or something like that, yeah. up the hill. Mm. We approached it before perfectly. On yeah, yeah. Okay. But at that point, I'd like to prepare a spell. But yeah, so for the next... 15 minutes, basically what you say is what you say. Cool. Okay. So if you want to, you can say I cast this or I do that, yeah. but the majority of the chat, if we keep it all as in character as humanly possible. I will prepare the spell that we yeah. talked about. You start invoking. I say we approach slowly and assess the situation as much as we can. Yeah. Um, this will take 10 minutes, so I just, if you wanted to, I don't know, make a plan as best as possible, we've got that time. Yeah. We go in, we go in hard, we hit them, we kill them. I think we first need to figure out if our friends are actually here on having some How do we <coughs> figure that out? Well, first thing we do, get close. Just try another How dance. To see where the... mm. They are now. Get closer and Like they're on the path and we're right next to the. How far up do you go up the windmill? Are we going, we're following the I path think round. At this point, we're, we're still a few we're minutes away, like I think. 200 foot away at the, yeah. at the edge of the. No, yeah. Okay. No. But good. Yeah. I don't think I can purposely can't. jump planes only by accident. Yeah. Well, I mean, invisibility worked quite well last time. Last time I went invisible here, they almost died. Well, you could say that about anywhere we've been. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Constance. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, keep your spirits up. <laughs> we'll let you guys cast your spell unless there's anything else you want to do. Uh, I'm going to prep the, um, the nice little bone mace. <laughs> <laughs> bone, bone mace! <laughs> Hard firm You're bone You're not mace. attuned to it yet. Okay, oh, but it's still a normal you haven't slept mace. With it. it has the normal mace stats? Yes. Which is like 1d6, is yep. it? Okay. Come. We don't need to fight. We can always talk. I look at Carmen. <coughs> don't think this big man talks. I think he rages. <laughs> From the window, you can see a head pop up and look out. Black, greasy almost oily hair going down this face with a large pointed greeny black nose. Sharp blood red eyes point out. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
you've met them before? <laughs> yes. Are you here for more blood sacrifices? <laughs> Have you brought me two more? I will make the trade. What is your price this time? Open your door and let us come inside and we will talk. <laughs> Can't have that. I'm very puzzled. <laughs> Red, Red's hackles are completely up. <laughs> I think not. I These ones are trouble. I message Red so no one else can hear me. Um, Disarm them, Carvan. I do not your bidding. Mm-hmm. <coughs> do not think weapon. to command me, Hag. I'm going to use spiritual weapon. While that conversation's happening, I'm going to cast spiritual weapon behind her and then bring the scythe down on her. <laughs> 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 Um, I guess we're just trying to keep an eye out for any sign that anything happens. Yeah, yeah that's right. basically, yeah. yeah. It's like we approach and we keep in a lookout to see what it's like. What level is counting? You don't want to just yeah. smash the door down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. What's the spell level? Uh, the spell level, there, because I'm casting it, would actually be level four. Yeah. You start to invoke it. And you hear some abyssal coming from within inside the windmill, and the air is sucked from your mouth before you can finish your spell, and you feel the magic drain from you. You cast the spell, they counted it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I will enjoy this one. <laughs> Carvan unlimbers his spear. Let so me get my shh. sister. He starts to head round the windmill towards the door. Uh, Red's going to jump through the window <laughs> and yeah. try and knock yeah. her, try and knock her prone. Isn't the window like one floor? One floor. Up. I thought we were on the. You're, sorry, so the ground floor. The window is the next what, the door. Gra- yeah, on the ground floor is the first floor. How far up is it? It would be a hard <laughs> jump. It's mm. possible. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I thought she was on the Yeah, she's ground floor. one floor up. She's, she's kind of looking out the back window towards you. No, we probably won't be able to make it. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> give it a try. Yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. Yeah. Would that be acrobatics or would that be... Acrobatics. I don't know how... I don't, yeah, think, do I don't get... think I get anything additional to acrobatics. I get... Give me a straight D20 and we'll see how you do. Twelve. You'd be able to get in, but you wouldn't. It wouldn't be one swift movement. It would be like a clamber. Scrabble, scrabble, scrabble. Yeah. Mm. But you start going up. Yeah. Um, as you scrabble up, she is not there. Mm. You're inside, or you can see inside the windmill. You've got this big grinding apparatus in the centre, and some stairs going up and some stairs going down. You making your way around to the door? Yep. And try to cast a spell. I'm gonna do. Can everyone give me initiative now? Can we see anything happening at all? But we're in combat. Even I must be so it. bad with that. Be twenty. Take the main four. Four. Love it. I do so bad with okay. initiative. Sixteen. It's initiative straight death oh, wait. mod. Yeah. Mm. Been a while. Twenty-one. Oh, wait. Six. Eleven. Six. Uh, Sixteen. Twenty. 21. Okay. And Mine's now six. I forgot to add the decks. So, um... Carvan. 11. 16. 15. 16. 16. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've got you in the wrong order. What did you get? Um, six. Okay. We jump to the outside crew. You finish your spell. 
those around. Give me a concentration check, please. Concentration. Oh, oh, no. No. Nope. Oh, spellcraft or arcane knowledge, arcane, I think they call it. Um, oh, uh, 15. It? Yeah, it's enough. Yeah. As you finish this spell, fire erupts in a circle on the floor. What the fuck? <laughs> the mist forms on the edge of the hill. <laughs> what about a puff the, uh, and a pant. <laughs> and smoke coming out of his nose, standing <laughs> Grinding his teeth already, his head and eyes lock on you. It's my favourite party member. Danger! Danger! Can we now man. hear this thing <laughs> pelting towards the... What are goat stats? <laughs> what is hanging on the tree? What even is, what is what goat? goat stats? <laughs> is he actually a goat stat? No, he's like a... He's like a Honk, honk. He's like a face something or something. He's um, a... Um, An abyssal. Abyssal. Abyssal goat. <laughs> abyssal goat. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's pretty... He's terrifying on both of them. <laughs> yeah, he, In theory, he is a celestial goat. Yes. <laughs> <Aww>. Chef Ingos. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put him on the same time as you. Um, those outside, you'd have time to react as well. Do you want to do anything after you see him and get summoned? <laughs> uh, so he's summoned and he's just charging the windmill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's just fucking fucking. Uh, right, OK. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we do the same. Uh, go a bit slower because I'm exhausted. Some <laughs> <laughs> no, just mean just go go flying. You just double just moving up. I was some muggies. Yeah, <laughs> M- yeah running up. Yeah. The hairs on the back of your neck yeah. go up. Last time you were here, you remembered what happened. Death. Yeah, she's definitely spooked. Yeah. You start running up. Come on. I am going to go through the door. <laughs> you go through the door. <laughs> Through the door or through the door? Through the door. Oh, fine. Through the door. It'll be embarrassing if it's not locked, but I'm just going to assume. It would be a double move, so you won't be able to attack whatever is on the other side. It would be move, move, smash through, basically. (laughs) Move, move, smash, rage. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Move, move, smash, rage. (laughs) Um, Nice. As you start your legs opening up, the adrenaline hits you, the first for battle grinding on you now. It's been too long. So you put your shoulder to the door. This is no challenge for Carbon. <laughs> Where are the true enemies? As you get to the other side, and how does he enter rage? Uh, so it's like the tattoos on his body start to kind of swirl oh. and glow and then weep blood. Oh, yeah, boy. Mm. And his nice. eyes just seem to light up. This is how we deal with hacks. <laughs> this, is, this is my jam. <laughs> As you go into a rage, um, around you, four ghost-like spirits spawn. They come through the floor, kneel at your side, and look up. Yeah. With me, my people! <gasps> <gasps> As they stand and are close That's to you. Clean. Gabriel! Oh. He's like, I'll do something cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my cool move? I follow, I climbed in through the window. <laughs> Yay! You come out to me! <laughs> yep, as the air dying. sucked out of your breath, you see Red scramble, not too elegantly, <laughs> up through the window as there's a wolf climbing through the window. I've still got um, my. Hi, Eldritch Sight, so I still have the tech magic. Yep. Do I see any shapes of hags? Because they should be in an aura. And there was one looking out the window. Uh, yeah. No, you can't see them at the moment. Them sneaky hags. Mm. I am going to prepare my Eldritch Blast, so as soon as one appears back in this realm, I'm going to shoot it in the face. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you'd be kind of perched on the window. You wouldn't manage to enter the room. It'd be a double move to get in. Okay. 
So you're kind of like, <laughs> you're kind of perched on, like again, how you are before. You're running. <laughs> yep, um, I'm, I'm slow because I'm exhausted. Yep. Um, but I'm going to follow behind the goat. <laughs> a lot behind the goat. <laughs> a lot behind the goat. I didn't expect to hear today. He's so, mad fast up there. He'll yeah. be there next turn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm moving like 30 <laughs> double moves. So. Yeah, <laughs> he is tearing in the distance in front of you. I'm following on. In front of your eyes, um, with a blink, holding on to her necklace, you see again this cruel, wearing leather sort of apron. Now you can, yeah, as she appears in front of you. Um, two beams at level five. She's two beams. She's just appeared, so I'm shooting. She's appearing in our. It's a real world or she's a little... spirit world. Our, spirit, our spirit, level. Spirit, spirit. And she's on our, our level. Yeah, on your level. Sorry. And I had a prepared Eldritch Blast, so I am going to do those wise in the face. Uh, that is 14 against AC and uh, 14. Yes, yeah. Okay. So both hits. And it is uh, 1d10 times 2, so it is uh, 8. Plus three, so that's eleven points of damage, and then thirteen points of damage. So twenty-four points of damage. As these two blasts go into, you can see she's got this kind of like patchwork, um, almost it could be like an apron dress kind of thing. Her long, greasy, oily hair coming down. Large, elongated nose, blood red eyes again. She immediately lets go of this. <laughs> Her nails become longer, but instead of going and attacking, she runs upstairs. Very quickly. You'll probably get an attack. I was on about her. to say, I'm probably yeah. an attack. You get an attackable opportunity. Cool. On. So I'm going to try and bite her and pull her down. <laughs> um, that is 13 plus 4 to hit, so that's a hit. That's a hit. And then cool. it's. 2d4, that's a d6, what am I doing? 2d4 plus 2 damage, so that's 2, 4, 6 damage, and then she needs to do a strength saving. Uh, let me just read it one second. Down goes solo. Uh, maybe not. I didn't show a creature, I would knock it prone. You take her to the floor. Nice. Yeah. As she turns and bolts from you. Yeah, literally like grabbed her by the yeah. calf and, you just and get ripped her. Off. Her skin tastes oily and yeah. disgusting. You can't help but gag. Yeah, as once you bite she's onto brought her, her down because she remembers what they can do with their claws, she's gonna immediately jump back, put that. some distance. So, yeah, she, that's her move. So she's not gonna double move. Wah, wah, wah. Love knocking things prone. No. One second. Can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Uh, it's 18, 19, 20, 21. You hear her in this abyssal tongue. Her, the tongue in her mouth seems too long and thin to fit in properly. As it sort of snakes out and she grimaces on her face now. Pesky wolf, be the rabbit you are. A hand flushes towards you as you feel start to transform mm. from this wolf into it. <sighs> just a shake of your head and you yeah. overcome her magic. Yeah, nice. Too strong for her. She calls out for aid and for help though. Hesio! Yes? How um, close are we now? Um, so you've done a double move, so you're probably say 100 foot away. 
So Is another it? double, no, say close to that, 60 foot, because otherwise you're going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> Is there any evidence of, of, of hags? Uh, no, but you've got a feeling there may be next turn when something <laughs> hits the door. <laughs> He's not quite reached the door yet. You're also getting ahead of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're much quicker than these guys. Remember you can totally that. iron man this. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> she, I... So, order-wise, running up towards the windmill, you can see Hadrim in front. <laughs> you're behind him. As you look back, you can see the tired boys. Uh, tired boys. Tired boys for life. <laughs> I like that you've got individual like group names now. This is nice. Like uh, we're splitting into more uh, smaller and smaller groups. Yeah, every time we split up into a new group, it has to have a new name. Yeah. <laughs> I am spending sorcery points to get my fireball back. Mm. And she is. This is like a scream of rage, upset, all the emotions that these hags have caused her. Yeah. And she is yeah, screaming and spinning and just launching it right into the heart of that. She wants to light up that windmill with fury. Okay. <coughs> yeah. And we're going to feel slightly warm in the spirit <laughs> realm, like. <sighs> yeah. Give me some damage, please. Um, oh, it. But I guess the building needs to take... Oh, well, no, well. no, I'll do damage for it, don't worry. Because it's, 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 if you pass it's the building. decks, it's hard. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's, it's building not going to <laughs> um, <laughs> As... Okay. This is it's such a silly game. <laughs> Three, two, two. Three, you rear all runs, don't you, because it's fire. I think I can only do it once, though, if it's yeah, one it again. So that's half. Three, four, five, eight. Right. Eight plus five, ten. Eighteen. Come on. Five, five, four. Ah, five, five, four, three. Ten, fourteen, seventeen plus eight. Twenty-five. Fire. Fire. Also. 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 I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah. Everything is on fire. I am very angry and upset and. Rage everywhere and fire everywhere, and, and this, this, this is the like this she's been waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Coils Gosh. out of your hand and up the hill, smashing into the front and through the door inside and erupting. You would see this in the spirit world as well. <laughs> Hesia's here. <laughs> there would be an almighty big <coughs> explosion in both. Um, you hear a scream of pain from inside. Yes, good. One <laughs> was definitely a hag. Good. Oh, you killed a child. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't even think oh. about that. Oh, well. Same child. Oh, well. Too late now. <laughs> they were destined for pastyhood anyway. Listen, we, all, we saved one, that's enough. Yeah. We saved one, we killed one. Brian's oh, fine. That's all right, we've done our moral duty. We saved one. <laughs> <laughs> Constance. Well, you really changed your tune. Yeah. Oh, she never cared in the first place. <laughs> I mean, I ate one of those pasties, so really, I have no... Delicious, delicious um, child meat. <laughs> nom, nom, On nom. fire, coming out, oily skin and hair. This, you've seen this one before. She was the one who was downstairs last time. The one who killed you. Oh! <gasps> 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 <laughs> Adrian! Adrian! <laughs> I've not even my advantage yet. I'm disappointed. Why would you say that? I would use it on yourself. It is like me. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me a wisdom saving throw? I'm using my advantage. So it's fine. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! no. Uh, well, with advantage, I got five, so that's oh. great. Plus wi wi wisdom save. Uh, wisdom is minus one, but I've got a plus one, so they balance out, okay. so it's zero. Might be enough. <laughs> five. <laughs> she might roll them. <laughs> She's turning you into a bunny. <laughs> Hessia. As this clawed hands, as this voice, you just freeze and you're... The world starts to get smaller. 
and smaller and smaller as you look towards your hands as they turn green and reptilian. Oh no! Oh no! Give it. I'm a frog! <laughs> <laughs> this has gone poorly. And is that the goat is style? coming hurtling <laughs> towards you. The goat's ahead of her yeah. here. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Carvan! An explosion erupts which tears through this reality and this plane into the other around you. It doesn't affect you, but the building and in here, the, the walls catch fire. Finally, appropriate thematics. <laughs> um, is there anybody in here to murder? <laughs> um, you can see the, the shade of someone in here in the other, so they're in the real world. They're like the it's, shadow it's, of it's them. It's pretty thin here. Could we not Even just like okay, but in which case, I I will I will go. Um, so as you look around, you can see in the corner a bubbling black um, barrel of kind of what looks like tar-like yeah. substance. It doesn't look like a thing to kill, and I'm pretty focused right now. Mm. So yeah. I'm going to go upstairs. Yep. You. I've climb got, the I've stairs. Got, I've got 40 feet. Yeah, easy. You'd make it up. You would see on the floor, on her back, pointing towards red, um, <laughs> claws out. Um, <laughs> pointing towards a rabbit, surely. So your no, no, spirit no, guards, oh, you, you can assign them to protect someone oh, if you, you want. Oh, you totem. Now up, you. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> No. I think that just happens. Yeah, you got to choose someone. Oh, on the back. Yeah. Yeah. You see. Um, can I can I make it to um, the hag? Yep. And vigorous stabbing occurs. Vigorous, <laughs> yeah, vigorous. vigorous stabbing. Vigorous stabbing. Please don't tell like words that he would know <laughs> and how he put it. Uh, you got advantage on your attack. She's prone. <laughs> advantage on your vigorous stabbing. Uh, 21. That would be a hit on your first attack. Do you want to do your second attack? I, I think I do. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> oh, yeah, go on. 26. That also would amazingly be a hit. Shocking, isn't it? Uh, <coughs> that's 10. And 12 points of damage, respectively. Yeah, so 22. Okay. She's in trouble. Tasty. Brutal. Thank you. Incoherent screaming! <laughs> Your attack's not magical, though, is it? No. I'm um, going to say non magical. Not, not inherently on the character sheet that I built, yeah. no. I'm going to say non magical. No, I'm going to say magical. He's a spirit at the You're moment. You're a magical yeah. spirit, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> magic, magic. How, how does he fight? What sort of movement um, is it? So it's quite kind of. Brutal and swift, it's see a weakness and lash out at it with just all of his strength, not even stopping to, to think. It's see a weakness, see an opening, punish them for it. Yeah. Her on the floor is like a dream as you. <laughs> she, her eyes, when she looks to you, are almost like you've come to her aid for a second oh. until you start stabbing the shit out of her. No. <laughs> Did, you're raging, aren't you? Did you add yeah. your range damage? Your rage damage. I did, yeah. 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 I'm using a spear one-handed. Gabriel. So, oh, yeah. um, it's quite a compact room in there now. You see these four spirits, um, armed and armoured in a similar manner to Carve and kind of run to Red's flanks. That's fine. Um, well, she's on the <laughs> floor, fine. so I can't do... I don't really want to shoot at her because it'd be a disadvantage. What I want to do, though, is try and rip the necklace off her. Yeah. So you're going to jump in... And just try and yank the necklace. And whilst yeah. avoiding being stabbed by karma. Should get an attackable opportunity on you. That is fine. Uh, yeah. uh, she has disadvantage on any attack roll that isn't against me. Yeah. <laughs> against, I think, against red for the, the spirit. Oh, they go against... They they will hinder the hag because I'm attacking the hag. Yeah. The uh, spirit shield way. is on red. Yep, yeah, okay. What's your AC? 13. Yeah, she's hit you. Disadvantage. Mm. Mm. What was it? 13. She's hit you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. But you made a noise. So it must have been close. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs>
12 damage. As you go in, her claws rake into your arm. She's in pain and she's in troubles, but she's seen what you're going for. I'm going to nick the. Um, how should we do it? Give me an attack roll. I was going to it with my hand. She knows you're there, no, and no, she, no. yeah, you've not got any. You've not got stealth on her. She, okay. yeah. It would be a, a physical. If you could like stealth up on her, then I'd give you sleight of hand, but it'd be more of a uh, twenty-one. Oh, motherfucker! I'm literally just trying to snap it off her. Yeah, neck. you'll get it. Woo! You, you rip the necklace off her. She looks scared. Chakul. We're running very. Should we finish this round of combat and then we better leave it? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I've gone over. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna keep moving forward. Yeah. You'll m- still get. Quite you'd high. reach Hessia. <laughs> Who is a frog? So uh, then you're 15 the foot from the door. <laughs> Ribbit! <laughs> <laughs> is it a curse? Is it a curse? Does a toad have? Is it a curse or is it something else? It's probably something to do with the tongue. Do I send for a spell? Probably more, surely. Just seeing if I could still uh, have lots you're not of sure. frog friends. Yeah, it's a curse. Oh, no. You're not sure. I'm not sure. Give it. Rip it. <laughs> 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 um, uh, we, we, uh, reach her with a double move or reach her with a single move and then... Single. Single move, okay. Um, Alright, why not? I'll try removing curse when I reach her. Isn't there a hag like stood right there? Wait, wait, there's a hag on him. In front of me, she literally just turned me into a frog. No, but you got got Hadrian right there. That's going to be charging. Uh, Hadrian's way ahead. There's a a hag I can see, or no? Yeah, she's about 15 foot past. She's casting. 15, 15, 1-5, so you won't be able to reach her this round. But you could get into casting resistance. So we're going up the hill, and then there's the door, and she's inside the building. She's just at the entrance of the door. The bird just come outside. In the building burn. Just just at the outside, sorry. Just coming out the Yeah, you could range spellcaster this time. Move it. No, I would kind of get to a stop and try and remove curse from... You invoke the spell on her. Have you got any curses on you? No, no. Yes, you do. Yes. Oh, yes, no, I do! <coughs> the, the one from Isabella. You Isabel. can't steal anything. <gasps> oh. That's the move that. Cheers. Give me a d20. <laughs> okay. Uh, 10. Okay. Plus wisdom? Or? The world goes very dark. For me? Very dark. <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Your vision just blacks out completely. <laughs> Oh no. Sponge blind. Move it. Priority. Stupid fucking frog. Yes, we are. Move it. Move it. Um. Away. <laughs> I'm a frog, what can I do? I thought that was a curse. It makes sense that that's a curse, right? No, I, I, think, mean, that's a, I think that's a spell. I think that might be polymorph. That's just I unfairness of not knowing the rules. I assume I can't really <laughs> cast magic in frog form. Yeah. <laughs> You have to be a no. certain level uh, uh, druid. You're a frog, I'm afraid. No, I am a frog. I will Anything you do? try and hop <coughs> off into a like, shrub <laughs> cover. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just a bit of safety. It's night time um. as well, there's going to be owls around. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, I got eaten by an owl. <laughs> that is how Hesse How did Hesse die? You got eaten by an owl. <laughs> it's polymorph, a concentration spell. Polymorph? Yes, I think so. It is, I believe. It's all right, you won't be a frog no. polymorph once that goat comes in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not? Last for an owl. Uh, right? Yeah, it's concentration. Yes, it's concentration. No. Oh, yeah. It's got a C on the card. Oh yeah, in like a yeah. little diamond. Diamond, yeah. Like next to the duration. Last the duration until the target drops to zero hit points or dies. But in that duration box, has it got a little C yeah. and a diamond? Yeah, it's confirmation then. Uh, also, your mental ability scores have been replaced. Of oh, that of a frog. Yeah, Rip it. <laughs> However, you still re- retain your alignment and personality, so you are a chaotic, chaotic frog. Chaotic neutral frog. And you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the frog is on fire. So the owls can pick you out really easily. <laughs> sorry, we've gone way over. Two. Got two more people to go with this and then we'll have to call it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you hear someone coming from above you. You see... Um, 
You'd only seen her in the distance in the past. Agatha. From upstairs, you've heard of her. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Not my Brenda from Bristol. There goes the mood. <laughs> she looks a lot older, a lot more mature than the other two hikes. Okay. Her eyes, instead of being blood red, are a milky white. Are we white. seeing this or they seeing us? You in the spirit. spirit. Or yeah. um, Gabriel, give me a wisdom, please. That would be a nine. Oopsie. As you've got it and you look towards this pendant as this hands are down, there's a real menace and power to her as she just locks eyes with you as you look into her eyes for a second and literally fall over backwards. What a sleep. Sleepy time. You're going well. Sleepy You're time. doing really well for us so far. <laughs> We're doing fine. Eric's with me. Eric can wake me up. Frog. Blind. Hand <laughs> shoots out towards you, Carvin. There's no loto. Give me a uh, constitution open throw, please. Sleep, frog. You can feel your arms Something being bound happened. tight to your body. Tight. 20. Is that correct? You over strength her. Critical bomb break. She gets you for a second and you can feel yourself not able to move. Tattoos flare. Just kind of Hulk it. muscles ripple. Constance. <coughs> I want to run directly at the one that's yep. in the door. Probably tackle. Hate it. Mm -hmm. Go evil reach. Mm -hmm. I'll Do you want to roll his attack? Yeah, sure. I was wondering if he could replace my shield master bonus turn of trying to knock people over. So rather than trying to do that with my shield, I could do it with my goat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll probably try and do it anyway. Okay, cool, cool. cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the drums! Does he have my stats? No, I've got stats from here. Okay, uh, I rolled a 12. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, he's a d8 damage. That's why I've got an extra d8. It's my Hadrian d8. Okay. <laughs> uh, six. Would you say that broke her concentration? I'm going to roll for being it. Being barreled into by it. No. Being barreled into by a goat. She's too good for that. She's been hit by an abyssal goat. <laughs> <laughs> um, day for a hag. He <laughs> smashes into her and over the top of her into the burning building, just looking for whatever. He's Cracking. not satisfied by just yeah, smashing yeah, into that's this. Not good enough for him. Um, you'd be upon her next turn. Um, it's going to be her turn. Fun. Um, um, was that a double move for me to get there? Okay. Pretty much. Yeah, you'll be on her next turn. Well, sure. Yeah. It's a long run, unfortunately. Um, yeah, fuck it, she's going to bolt. Chakul and Constance, give me a roll. You jump to the side, little hobbit. Yeah, I sort of appeared into I'm the other right. bushes. Give me a dex roll, please. Okay. Okay. I can add my shield's AC bonus to my dex rolls. Yep. That's plus plus three. Three. Also, I'm very, you very low to the ground. Yeah, I'm not going to use your dice. Wait, your, your dice is right Eleven. there. Nah. <laughs> 11. Dex, I'm oh, sorry, dex is 12. I am going to use my inspiration, I think. Shouldn't have done that. Oh. Critical fail. That was a very short one, though. But yeah, that was using my inspiration, and then I got a. Okay. You're both. Just because you'd yeah. Within 15 foot of her. You're slightly in front. You manage to get a little bit further, as there's the cackle and crackle of electricity in her hand, and a hand shoots out towards you for 29 mm. points of lightning Ooh. damage. Let's not 
so it lights the, the night HP sky up obvious. briefly as it's kind of burn <laughs> into your vision. Not yours. <laughs> this pack <laughs> um, across the air. And that is where we're going to have to leave it. Yeah. We'll continue next time. Sorry, I went well over. OK. That's right. Well, we'll have well a quick over. end then to the thing, if that's OK. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, cheers for the bits, Basnik. We, Basnik. We will send it, spend it on the uh, art. Yep. Art. 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 Um, I don't know if we made any more subscriptions. We need to get 15. That's the goal, team. Okay. I think I probably need to redo. Excellent. Um, lovely. Yes, right, anyway, sorry, sorry, I've gone Thank well over. Um, we've got long journeys home. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thanks. Bye. 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 Pardon? You don't have to. Um, oh, I've got another thought. Um, uh, I'll message someone in chat uh, afterwards who got some dice. Who named us? Whoever came up with Spirits of Vengeance? Uh, Dish Pickler, we sent you dice before, I can't remember. And Bashnik, we've not seen you. Right, anyway, okay, right, thanks, bye. bye. bye.